I'm back. We're back on Dr. Eddie's London-esque. That's the one, baby. We did some, uh, we did some, oh, look at these clouds. We did some work yesterday on this area out here, which is, it's shaping up, look, there's a UFO, oh no, it's not a UFO. It's shaping up all right. We flattened all the land, <laughs> um, as we do. And uh, we've made some uh, some spots here for uh, potentially some more places uh, for people to live. Uh, we can access the deburbs via bridge if we want to, or we can just funnel people down these sort of lesser lanes, make like just a little, um, like just a tiny neighborhood, like a little suburb there would work, I think. What happened? Oh yeah, we had a tornado, didn't we? Tornado knocked down the community pool, that's right. And one b-ball court. Alright, fixed. Fixed, 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 fixed. A lot of these are pedestrian access uh, issues on the uh, on the mixed stuff. I, I don't really know uh, how to fix it. Even demolishing doesn't seem to really fix it, yeah. How did I sleep? Well, thanks. EastEnders intro music intensifies. It is a little bit EastEndery looking, isn't it? With the uh, with the river. Oh, everybody falls in love. Do 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 do. Wa 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 we wa do 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 do. We've got the in betweeners here, which is acting as sort of like a uh, maybe like a buffer between the, um, the 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 city. We could have like maybe a little green belt here, and then. Uh, all of this is kind of like servicey stuff. You've even got a prison up here, but it's kind of tucked out of the way, so you, know, you don't have to necessarily pass through it to get to the city. You can just take the highway. Uh, you can take the train from the burbs, which we've hooked up with uh, with trams, and it seems to be going quite well. There's currently 74 people waiting for a train here. Soon to be more. This was fun yesterday, actually doing all this stuff, all the uh, all the transport uh, infrastructure stuff. I think it looks pretty good. It's nice when you see loads of um, people getting on and off the trains too, right? It's 169 people headed downtown and more. So the burbs is good. The the, uh, the the trams and the burbs doing the loop are just is a feeder for the train station, which has a much higher capacity, right? No, we don't have any monorails, but uh, never say never. We might have some at some point. We set up all this industry out here, which is uh, probably paying off. We have a lot of excess. We have a lot of surplus materials being generated in the city. Um, we lack wood, wheat, vegetables but everything else we're in the green on. Services, garbage, we're making some money off of garbage. Taxation, seems fine, nobody's really complaining. We haven't had to borrow any money. And uh, our monthly balance is uh, 1.3 million um, plus. So we're, we're making money, making, making a decent chunk of money. In terms of uh, population, 9.4% unemployment. Which is, you know, it's high, but it's not not so bad. Workplace availability, most of the jobs are filled. There's 32 open positions, and it looks like well-educated, highly educated, and educated are the culprits, which is fine, because um, our school availability is pretty good. High school uh, is only just in the green, but we have uh, we have a lot of capacity. It's a it's a school. It's a citywide high school, which uh, has worked. Uh, for now. Same with the college, same with the university. There's enough people there going through the motions and graduating to keep everybody in jobs. So so balance-wise, I think we're looking good. I think we've got a, a good balance. We just need to expand more, uh, plan more infrastructure, and just keep, uh, keep building. Keep building. We've almost touched both sides of the map. We're not going to be touching these sides of the map much except for making um cool tunnel highway uh entrances to the city uh because they're it's mountains we're not gonna really build into the mountains you know subways yeah we're gonna do subways in the downtown area for sure connect it all up get people moving around a little bit easier 
I think buses will just cause lots of uh, lots of traffic problems. Look at all of the people coming out of the train station. This is wild. So not only do we have um, the burbs feeding into here, but we've got an external connection as well. And there's more external connections that we could potentially get on the side here uh, if we want to. If we want to get more people in. We're, we're currently have getting about 5,000 tourists a month, which is not bad. So hotel demand and stuff, I think, exists. Yeah, there's hotel demand, high skill labor availability, labor availability. So it's unoccupied buildings are the only things that uh, people are complaining about across the uh, demand bars. Flat mountains. We could flatten the mountains if uh, if people wish to uh, wish to go down that route. Any any wishers? Anybody want to flatten a couple of mountains today? Whoa ho ho ho! Whoa ho ho ho! It's like that. Ain't no, ain't no mountain high enough to keep me from flattening you. I'll make a couple of little connections here. A couple of, a couple of expertly placed paths. We don't really want anything building onto the, onto the main road here. So we're going to shove it all this way, and that's fine, actually. We could probably get a couple of, um, we could get a couple of offices here. We can just make them low density, though, so that they don't uh, dwarf the whole area, you know? Oh. Oh. There, that'll be fine. Um, we need a path that goes like this. Right. And then we can get some more in here, too. Perfect. Look at all these places for people to work. Uh, the low density ones don't employ as many people, but I mean it all it all counts, right? So it's fine. Do you ever think I'd return to a heavily modded Skyrim? No. Probably not. But one thing I was looking at and potentially interested in is a heavily modded uh, farming simulator twenty two. We haven't played it in a while. It's probably been mostly fixed, I'd imagine, and there's tons of mods for it. So that's definitely a consideration. You can do all sorts. I, there's people that are doing gold mining and oil fields and everything in it. It looks insane. Farming Sim 22 is great now. Yeah, we could do the server and get people in and try to conquer a map and stuff. It'd be fun. Yeah, horses and um, silage and whatever. There's all sorts of fun stuff to do. With emphasis on fun. No? One, two, three, four. Oh. Oh, I see what I've done here. Let's go. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just get some offices in here. Aha! New signature building available. Principus. The company is working in this modern office building. Not only make sure that justice is served but their efficiency actually helps to reduce the crime rate in the neighborhood. Okay, it's a nice little nice little buff and a cool signature building um, that employs, if my memory serves, about 400 people, right? Prince of Piss, that's the one, yeah. Prince of Piss. The Prince of Piss. We can reduce crime in the neighborhood. So this comes under offices it's not that big it's not it's not humongous i mean we could we could potentially fit it down here somewhere if we wanted to it's um it's a low density it's a low density office is it 
Yeah, and these ones are the high density ones. So if it's low density, we can find a spot, maybe like in here. We got some low density offices in here. Uh, we want uh, mostly services around here, but I don't mind if people want to uh, also come here to work. It's just not very connected at the moment. It means that people are mostly driving here. But I feel like maybe the people of uh, at Principis could work on Wood Street. It's connected enough. It's close enough to like the burbs where I like, think a lot of the people will come to work. Maybe some people from downtown, but again, it's connected enough. And then it makes uh, along this road look a bit more interesting, right? We've got the hospital. The hospital, we could put the hospital on Magnolia Street so that it's not on Brook Street, so that Brook Street's a bit more open. But uh, the hospital being on uh, Brook Street isn't really causing any issues. 66 employees. Plenty of pharmaceuticals. There's only two patients here. Increasing areas of and it looks like one of them is parked up with their pickup truck. Smoke Possibly the, the other one air, is blocking the uh, the front entrance with their car. Maybe it was an emergency. And remain at a safe distance until emergency services manage to get the fires under control. Let's put Principis back here on Wood Street. Um, let's move it over one because it's like right on the uh, on the corner here too. That's nice. I don't think that there's much parking at Principis. Um, there's 122 uh, job vacancies here, which is uh, really nice, actually. Really good. It looks like it's uh, primarily highly educated. No, well-educated. And then educated, highly educated, making up the other half. Okay, that's fine. Well, we have those people in the city. Also a tornado. And I think a forest fire somewhere out there, too. We've got all of our vehicles in use. Garbage truck depot has already been done. We can collect hazardous waste to process garbage faster, which might be good. I don't think we need additional storage just yet. So our processing speed should increase. Yes, it has. Look at that. We want to get it up to 1,550 tons per month. And we can store 1,500 tons. So we should be able to always keep it clear, which is nice. I don't think we need to fully upgrade the hospital just yet, anyway. 97 out of 124. How has this helped with our unemployment? It's brought it down about 2%. Nice. Due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive. That's really good. Stay off the streets until we have to keep an eye on schools in this area too because they were full last I checked. This one's all right. This one's servicing both, so. Before we dive into our next election, I'd like to take a few memento more. They fill up very quickly. This one's almost full. Effectively lower uptown at some point needs some replanning. We need to move some people around. Industries in the region is on the rise and when business is doing well that floats our boat there's no sinking this boat glenda we're we're live uh, there's no sinking this boat glenda the traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal but if you're planning a quick trip out you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up if you're in it you uh, you already know about it no use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. I think we want to go more like this. Actually, from this one, let's do uh, one of these. And then it should fit in a bit better, right?
This is the pass-through station, right? So it's fine to hook all these things up to this if we want. Make it look a bit more London-esque. You think Principus needs a nice parking lot? Well, there's plenty of parking next door. You're right, though. Look, the parking is filling up. You think maybe, maybe this place needs its own large parking lot? Or just a medium? Maybe just a medium would be fine. So it takes up five? There, it looks, now it looks like it's actually part of Principus. <laughs> this isn't even full. Look how many residents live here. 383 adults. Jeez, that's a huge one. That's great. Um, we were watching people come and go from this area yesterday, and it is odd, isn't it? Pernu Apparel. Concilio Bombacio. These guys are all coming to pick up. They're little delivery vans coming to pick up stuff for a commercial, it looks like. It's getting kind of, it's getting to be quite a little, a busy little road, isn't it? Could maybe do, turn it into a four lane? Help with the, uh, help with the flow a little? So then they can turn off and turn back on and if they're just going straight they can be in the other the straight lane it might help traffic a, a little bit this this would be a lot of fun to navigate no one of the best <laughs> Oh man, I think we probably need a, a little roundabout here. And we got the train going over too, so it's it's like multiple layers of hell. <laughs> this could be the worst. I think this could be actually the worst one that we've made. I would hate to drive on that. It is a bit disgusting, yeah. Hello, Papa Sips. I missed your last few streams because I had to push out my 7 pound 3 ounce baby and watching cities would have only made it more painful. I'm not going to get any sleep for 20 years, no. so can you please place a tree for me? Okay. Lots of love. Hey, Mumbling Miss, thanks for the 10 and congrats as well. Good job. No, you're not going to get any sleep. Um, but, uh, you know, you'll, you'll figure it out. It's fun. It's fun. You'll have fun. Um, thank you so much. And, um, look, if I can find a, a good tree... Look, I'll plop one in your honor here, look. I don't know if I can rename a tree, though. Let's try. What kind of tree would you like? A birch. You're getting a birch. I hope you don't mind. One big birch in the middle here. Hey, you can, look. Okay, fine. Mumbling... Mumbling... Miss... Memorial tree, um, rip, free, free time, our condolences. 
but also congratulations as well. Mumblingness, thank you so much. Why can you rename trees? I don't know. But there's your tree right in the middle of a roundabout. Everybody can admire it when they're on their way to... God knows where they might be going. They could be going anywhere. We're going to have to do an overpass here because the train uh, the, the train situation is it's too dangerous, right? Sunset Street and Moore Street need to be changed. We got Prison Street here. Prison Street I don't think needs to be a four lane, but it can exist as a four lane for a little while, at least. Maybe until we do a filter and turn and merge into two lanes to get over the little bridge. Or, maybe even better, we do something a little bit like this. So that you have Two lanes into one, and then two lanes going this way into one. I think what we'll do is we'll have a... Um, maybe have an intersection here. And put a little curve on it too. can just be a uh, two-way as well match up with the rest of this area all right so you have street lights here which give you the opportunity to turn or go straight through I think that's fine it doesn't need to be uh, four-way beyond that it's I think it's a nice way to turn it into just a uh, two lane into a one lane the lights instead of relying on people filtering in which they'll never do properly there'll be accidents all over the place and then we've got this going over the infrastructure here and we can hook this up maybe with the uh, with the other roundabout but certainly we can have um, What, just like one road? A one, a one lane road? It br branches off of this? Street. All right, so if you're coming off this way, you can then turn onto here and go either way. And then we can maybe do it so that you can do the same thing from this side if you want to go the other way. I don't know if that makes sense.
How far is this one from here? It's like 14. I don't know. I think the other side looks better, right? I'd love it if you could, like, mirror stuff. That'd be sweet. Ah. I think it's probably good enough, right? So this will, this will allow people coming off here to access this big road but it'll also let people go back the other way. And we don't need lights on this side either, so the traffic should flow better. It's close enough, yeah. It's a little a little bit wonky. I mean, I could I could measure it out and get it right on both sides, but honestly, it's close enough. I think it's fine. Do 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 They take some they take some dangerous left turns. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the The mismatching bridges is a nice touch. This is only slightly though, it's not. A driving advisory has been issued for it's the not that bad. There's like conditions. they're like a little bit Please off. You'd never notice. And try to stay off the streets until conditions. Improve. You would never notice that. This has been a local public service announcement. What kind of future does music have if it doesn't look to its past? Well, I say the question speaks for itself. Here on second. Moon, Once you can't see it from is that exactly? That's all. I mean, that's all we're interested in is can you see it from space or not? And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more. We're going to need more um, garbage trucks for the recycling center. You can now shop Possibly even a, a second recycling a center. Because some of our coverage isn't, isn't perfect. Good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jerry. These are... Industry selling conven convenience foods, but actually this should be well, offices here, I think. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. We don't really need this to be commercial. I mean, we just want more people in here working, I think, right? Especially right across the street from the prison. They're going to love that. Build a hot air balloon transport system and just skip the roads? No, I don't want to have a hot air balloon transport system. When I play this game, just about the last thing I want to do is set up a hot air balloon transport system. I think that might be the, the worst thing that I can think of to spend my time doing in any video game. No, hot air balloons are not cool. Maybe they were cool in like 1850 when they first uh, started seeing use at fun fairs or whatever. But I'd say after maybe a year or so, people were like, okay, whatever. I am deathly afraid of balloons, yeah. A metro transit system I'd be up for doing though, yeah. That's, that's a lot more interesting for me. Hot air balloons can suck on my hot air balloons. There, I said it. I didn't want to start today this way, but...
did not want to start my day like this. Hot air balloons are not London-esque. You're, you're absolutely correct in what you're saying here. They are not. I can't think of anything less London-esque. Trust me, I know everything there is to know about London. I've been there, like, a couple of times, so... I know. Yeah, let's get a couple of commercial establishments on this not-so-busy road. If I know everything about London, where's the best uh, noddle shop? I don't know. I've never... I don't even know what noddles are. That's how much I know about London. When will I make Gay Paris? Um, I'm not sure. I'm making um, um, Paris, Alabama first, and then I'll probably make uh, Paris, France after that. I gotta prioritize a little. Okay, Mr. Smart Guy, where does the king live? Well, he used to live in Graceland. Uh, I don't know where I don't know where he lives now. Five feet under, I guess. He's got one foot in the grave. He lives outside of center parks. Oh. Well, that's news to me. What has sprung up here? Some nice little textiles, food, and electronics. Everything you could need. You can stop here and do some shopping if you, if your heart desires it. No? Nobody wants to stop there and shop till they drop for some reason. You saw him at Butlins once? Now that's a stroke of luck. Uh, Mill Street is actually meant to be, uh, Oil Lane. I don't know why it was renamed. Oil Lane into Natural Resource Lane. The incredible views of the, uh, Linden Highway and the, and the Pacific Highway. Just incredible. Green Lane. Evergreen Lane is uh is is smoke and crack. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Increasing areas of forest are being engulfed by flames. The thick smoke rising from the fire makes the air dangerous to breathe. Citizens are advised to vacate any premises near the fires and remain at a safe distance until emergency services manage to get the fires under control. Yes. I think it's trying to um, to do something here, and I think maybe that's why it's not aligning. No. It's 
weird, isn't it? Mulberry Lane. I don't know who's going to be walking around here, but you never know. I've seen people walking along highways in this game and everything. It happens. It would be a nice pack f path for a, a bike ride, you're right. Sadly, there's no bikes in this game. Where is this guy going? <gasps> it's Franklin Ortega. He's going to grind a rock on 6 Sipsco Street. Uh-oh. The or Ortega family is back. <laughs> it's an origin story. <laughs> oh no. Not the Ortegas. You're doing great, Dad! To shop till you drop is an American idiom which means to buying things until you are physically tired and cannot walk in the shops anymore. The phrase is found in print as early as the 1920s, and possibly earlier. Not surprisingly it started as a slogan. Shop till you drop. Hey, thank you so much for the uh, for the info on that one, Persona 4. Thanks for the 10 as well. Really appreciate it. Um, there, you learn something new every day, it turns out. Who'd have, who'd have thunk it? Not the Ortegas, yes. They are back. And this time, they mean business. I think we can fit a couple of birches in here, maybe? We want some spruce instead. Textiles, convenience food. This is a, an actual factory. Requiring timber to make paper. Same with this one. Uh, but these are storage, furniture, and plastics. There's a couple of parking spots for people who might work here. some castle ruins here. Shove these into uh, into our safe space for safekeeping. <laughs> Alright, the land value in the industrial area out here is a little bit higher than it is, for example, out here. Although it's creeping up a little bit. It might just be because we've got service buildings close to the, um, to here. What's all this? We have some weird, um, issues where it's not liking this. Some of these roads, it's not liking for, um, 
low density residential although it's improving as we add more to it but it's it's an odd one isn't it you'd think that this would just be green across the board here but it is not because of the commercial nearby what and maybe possibly these um is it all this commercial yeah it could be i don't it doesn't seem to stop it from building but it's just uh it's just a weird one isn't it people some parks. Oh, it's getting busy over here. Lots of uh, delivery vans and stuff coming here to pick up stuff. I guess this is where, I guess the storage side of industrial is where a lot of the the, uh, the traffic comes from. It might just even out after a little while though. I think it's because it's new. Once a lot of the big trucks go back to the uh, to the cargo place, it's probably not too bad, right? Did this turn into storage? Oh no, it didn't. Tiny Toys, currently employing 31 people, and Soft Ends, 49 Ivy Lane, 17 people. So there's, there are people working out here now too, it's not just storage yards. We'll get some uh, trees and stuff in here, right? It might actually be better to access this from um, here instead.
rather than here. We'll pretend that this is a, a cycling lane, even though they're not in the game. Why not, right? It's fun to pretend. people using this to uh, to get home from work they gotta drive why not why the heck not if these some of these commercial places need to access um, storage goods in here as well they can Can you pretend that the ore mining site is Disneyland? Sure. I find this looks a bit Disney-esque. I think it's because of the uh, the elementary school looks a little bit like the uh, the front of like the Magic Kingdom, you know. But then when you combine it with all the little paths and the trees and the lake and stuff, it it looks a little bit like Disney. Disney, Disney from the sky. All right, 166 out of 168 people working at Princely Piss. I think this pickup truck's been abandoned. It's been here for so. This guy's walking three dogs. Holy shit! I tip my hat to you. That is a lot of dogs. All right, we'll get a little bit of uh, manufacturing here, which is fine. And then some storage. We don't want this to be too big. We'll leave it kind of like this size because it'll just get a bit too busy and it'll be harder to manage. This looks great now though. Look at this. All the cars coming down here. Places to go. Places to go and people to see. Start adding some more um, 
low density housing around here too. Packing them in. I wish you could have template of streets and designs. Yeah, it'd be it'd be good. It would be good, but I, I kind of like just more um, switching it up. You know, like we we can have like these windy bits here and there, and then we can have these more sort of concentrated. It's all low density, but like you you kind of you can pack them into like these different neighborhoods and stuff too, right? Especially closer to the city, you would see more of these, I think. Further out, you'd get like more of this kind of stuff. But I think a little bit of a mix is fine too. I think it looks kind of cool with all the big mountains and stuff too. I know like we flattened a lot of the terrain, but uh oh. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to This poor building is empty and available Please for rent. Exercise caution if you must what happened? And try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. That's 66 open positions. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. You're listening to Second Moon Radio with J. Thomas Hornbuckle, and we're pervading some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial right here. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming. Nice. As the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva matcha. Oh my god, man. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Full? Thanks. Full? We'll be back after. Mostly full, full, full. More local news today. Almost the full? Shit. Figures, and somehow the Needs so many schools. This one's full. Well, that's fine by so me. we're gonna need another I school for effective, Maybe effectively lower fine. uptown at some point. I like the I have to move some people though. out of there, I think, and re redo it. We do have a lot of money, yeah. We have a lot of need for schools, though. It's insane. This one's not quite full. Okay, there's enough. Uh, there's enough capacity in the burbs, at least. Chestnut Lane.
Great. Keep tightening the bolts. Okay, I will, Krelly. These bolts... These bolts are going to be tightened big time. All you're going to hear is that, that sweet sound of the bolts tightening. It's been abandoned, so we can knock it down and see if it turns into something else. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Let's see if people actually use this. They should be using... They should be using the uh, the built-in one, but they're not because nobody works at any of these places. They're all storage, right? They're all storage units. There's a couple of people working here. 22. 37. 14. Making convenience food. And 12. Making electronics. This one's owned by Spasm. Capine is storing electronics here now, too. See? When, once you get these storage yards, look at all the traffic it generates. The, the, um, the cargo yard springs to life. think having a small park here for people <laughs> doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? But we'll try anyway. I'm sure somebody will seek out this park right next to the right next to the train cargo yard. All citizens in the affected area are instructed to immediately move to a safe distance until the situation is under control. They need places to eat their lunch and go for a smoke, I guess, too, right? Alright, we can get some trees and stuff around here and kind of finish this area off a little. So I think it's good to go. Busy around here, isn't it? Everybody's coming to pick up convenience food now. And once it starts to run low, the big truck will come over and deliver more to the storage. Maybe we can get um, maybe we can get some industrial in here too if it's just going to be storage. Let's see if it is just storage. Just dot it around a little bit. Yeah, nobody's using this parking because uh, nobody works over here. It's all storage. So I don't think anybody... If these ever turn into factories, the parking might get used. See, the, um, the ones where people work... People are parking outside. Look, <laughs> he's, 
<laughs> but see, these people are actually... Oh, no, this person is not. Who's this? She works at Tiny Toys. Oh, she's coming over to uh, smoke on another company's lot. That's fine. This is Tiny Toys here. Oh, no, this is Soft Ends. Tiny Toys is... What the hell is Tiny Toys? This one? Oily wood. Oh, this is upgraded. So is this one, actually. Timber and paper? This one is spasm making electronics. But anyway, the point is these places have uh, employees and some of the employees are... This guy just left this parking spot to, <laughs> to park up here. That's interesting. But these ones do not. This is just a uh, storage place. So I don't know why cars are turning up. I don't know why somebody gets out looks at the ground for a minute and then gets back in their car. I don't know why this is a destination. Maybe they just it might be like they might just do it to make it seem like it's you know more interesting than it is. Maybe this is how they spend some of their leisure time. No, it's not a safety inspection because most of the people that do this, most of the people that turn up to these places. All right, this 47 employees at Tiny Toys. Sorry, this is Tiny Toys. These are these are getting to be some quite big workplaces actually. It's nice. What's our employment at now? 9.2% with 70 open positions across the city. What did these turn into? Storage? Perfect. So this is storing... Oh. Nobody's taken this one. Or this one. We still have industrial demand, but no companies have taken these storage lots. So we have like a mini industrial area over here now, too. Now, there's no way to distinguish between factories or uh, storage. I think... You, you tend to get more storage um, crop up when you have um, cargo terminals. We've got a, a ship one and a train one. And the ship one has a train connection too. But a lot of these have remained um, normal factories, right? Over here. It's just new industry that I build now seems to favor storage. I don't know if it's because of the location we're building it in or what. But I prefer this. I prefer a, a, a mix of storage and industry rather than just this. Looks like... I find this looks like shit. Like, there's just too many factories with smokestacks all in one spot. So, I don't know. Uh, there... Like I said, I, I feel like maybe later on, after a lot of your manufacturing is sort of um, in place, then you'll get a bit of a mix. But certainly, like, I mean, all of this is storage, and then half of this is storage. But then the other half seems to, I mean, there's, no, that's not storage. No, there's this full of food. So these are just turning into manufacturing. It's fine. You can put a tax on smokestacks? Well, no, because we want manufacturing, too. I mean, we want the jobs. It's good to have the jobs. And the, the storage seems to act as a bit of a traffic generator. Because not only does it attract... Uh, it, it spawns vehicles from the um, cargo terminal to replenish them. But also um, all of the all of the little commercial um, 
places in town spawn these little vans to come and pick up supplies. Which, I mean, that's it's cool that it does that, but I, I guess you just got to be a bit careful because it can get really busy around here. We've concentrated a lot of this traffic onto this road as well. I mean, there is access to the highway, but they seem to favor going through this way. Which, I mean, that's not a bad thing either. Because then it keeps the highways a bit more clear, right? For, like, through traffic and then rush hour traffic and stuff, too. Could be proximity to the cargo facilities, yeah. Although, I mean, there's one here. It's, it's pretty close. And none of this is... None of this appears to be storage. But a lot of this stuff was built a long time ago. It's only just leveling up now as well. It was like not leveling up for the longest time. So we have three small coal power plants and we're importing uh, energy as well. N another thing we, we want to look at eventually is getting a um, maybe a geothermal plant or whatever, right? We're talking about it. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. A I think there's um I think there's a spot the around here for it as well. Poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This yeah, I don't know what uh, I don't know what triggers storage versus manufacturing, but I like the mix out here. I think it looks a little bit more realistic. It'd be cool if there was some storage um, around uh, liquid as well. You know, like um, you know, like the big um, silo things. And it'd be cool if there's a way that you could guarantee that they, those were going to build, right? It would actually just be cool if in here you had industrial manufacturing, um, industrial storage, and then in industrial storage, it'd be cool if there was um, liquid and non-liquid storage as well, right? And you could zone for that kind of stuff. Because you might want to just have like a big storage kind of area near your cargo stuff, right? Good to know, Jim. Seems like everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere fast. It's worth slowing down. And if you can, plan your trip outside the rush. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than they have to start thinking about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere. 9.8%. It's 85 positions now. All right, school capacity is looking good over here. School capacity is creeping up over here and is nearly critical here. Fuck. Just gonna have a another school in here, I guess. <laughs> Fudge. So this will be for overflow um, here when it fills up, because it is filling up. These have all upgraded a lot. Ah, look at these. Three out of five? They look really good upgraded. Have any of these big buildings upgraded? This is nearly fully upgraded. Three out of five for this. Three out of five for this too. I love this one tall building. Looks great. These ones... Have somewhat upgraded too.
Yeah, the primary school stuff uh, is 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 annoying, honestly. Like I I get that you would realistically need quite a few, but the building is is too big. I think that I think that's the the uh, I think that's the the main gripe. I don't I don't mind necessarily building them, but maybe a bit more capacity and then a smaller building, especially like um, you don't mind these ones like out in the burbs or whatever, but it'd be cool to have like an inner city, you know, like a, a different uh, a different look of a school for the uh, for the city, you know. Yeah, you can increase the capacity with the extension wing, but um, I don't know. It's it just gives you five hundred extra. It's not that much. Textiles and electronics. <gasps> It's leaving with ore. It's done it. We must have just made, we must have extracted so much metal ore that it, it just has to take it. We've done it. Oh my God, exports do work. It took a lot too, holy shit. That's the first time I've ever seen a train take something. I've seen boats do it, but never, never a train. That's the first time. Really good. positions are fluctuating still we should get some uh, some more people into I we could probably do with making some more um, offices right have these been rented no they haven't interesting okay maybe it's because of where they uh, of where they are nobody wants to rent them or could it be something to do with the um, land value around here? Ah. Okay. Maybe the rent is way too high and nobody wants to rent it because the land value is too high. Because the land value is very high here. It is creeping up a little bit here too. Possibly the land value um, is too high here. It's, I think it's because of these offices. I don't think you can have these big offices right in the middle of your burbs. I think it makes uh, the land value too high. Okay, well, we'll just rezone these then. And we'll rezone this to um, some uh, commercial. I don't think that the commercial, the 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 the, the yeah. So fatty bite doesn't contribute to uh, land value at all. It seems to be, it seems to be the offices there and the offices here as well contribute to land value like crazy. Building land value of the Grand Hotel is very low. <laughs> I don't know why.
Yeah, low low density housing can drop the land value. You can see low density housing does not create land value. And uh, I, th I think I saw the same post as you on Reddit. Basically, he was saying, if you don't want land value to creep over, like it is here, for example, then you can just put some um, low density housing in and it'll just stop it, right? Because it'll just lower the land value. Okay, we've got to move these offices. How many are here? There's quite a few jobs that'll go when we move these. But I suppose we're making um, some more offices here they could potentially move to. And we built all these ones here too, right? All right, let's, uh, wait. Oh, that's commercial already. So it's just these ones that have to go. Sorry. It'll be a lot of annoyed, displaced, and disgruntled employees, but it's okay. We'll find we'll find some other jobs for them. Holy shit! I feel like a couple of commercial places could make a killing out here with all these people standing around waiting but they're facing the wrong way but still opened here chemicals and pharmaceuticals <laughs> sure I thought maybe like a little Tesco or something would be good there but maybe not is an emergency broadcast to all citizens. Increasing areas of forest are being engulfed by flames. The thick smoke rising from the fire makes the air dangerous to breathe. Citizens are advised to vacate any premises near the fires and remain at a safe distance until emergency services manage to get the fires under control. Maybe just one or two little birches. And a cheeky spruce. I love this area of town. I just love the I I, I just love the the dump of people <laughs> and uh, how unsafe it is <laughs> crossing. Land value now should 
Yeah, it's starting to drop around here. That's good. We can make it drop further by getting some uh, some more houses and stuff in here too, right? gonna carve this too much more I don't think because we're kind of getting to the to the foot of the mountain a little here There's the wildfire, just the one. I know there's footpath bridges, yeah. There's no stairs though, so the, the, the lead up is just a bit too much, you know? station some people are walking right through the construction site yeah why not it's just a bit of fun sometimes it's fun to walk through a construction site all aboard When you see all these people on foot, you it makes you think, hang on, that's good, right? There's less cars on the road. <laughs> How many people are coming back? 165? It's quite a busy train station. There's people parked here and everything. Yeah, 165 more cars out there is a lot of cars struggle Franklin Street.
think I'd have to do it like ins inside here, right? To like here. Center. Modern fashion needs are served by this center for fashion. Where does that come under? I've never seen this. Ooh, commercial. Minus 1% import cost citywide and plus 1% attractiveness citywide and plus 5 well being within a kilometer. A neat building. I guess it's like a, it looks like a department store. You want to put it on Pacific Street? You think that that's like a destination? I feel like, uh, I feel like we could build something up around it, you know, make it look like a little bit of a shopping area. Downtown? I, I don't know. It's It looks light. Low density, low density, low density. High density and high density. A large gas station and rest stop for motorists. A food station and a streamlined diner. Low density. Definitely an upper downtown thing. I guess it's fashion, right? It's not like a yeah, maybe maybe this is more of like a closer to downtown sort of thing. Okay.
I don't know why they don't just use this, uh, this, like, color scheme for all of it. All the, uh, zoning. Like, look what commercial... You can't even see. Industrial? Hard to see. Office? Kind of hard to see. It's not as bad. Commercial is, is just ridiculous. Like, you cannot even see the squares. to try to um How do I do the um how do I how do I do like a um like a like a change of angle just like this try my best to align it with this and then straighten it from here A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. You're back with Second Moon Radio, your second musical home. For Maybe I just do it like this. Tonight we are doing a musical tour of Italia, mm -hmm. land of art and culture. <laughs> Très bon, as they say. And an aria inspired. Well, that's by not too bad. It's a bit of a mess in here, but. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. <laughs> you can now shop All right, sure. Shoes while Why not? A fancy local Jarva mate. At least we can still like cram them all in. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jerry. We'll be back after this. We're we're live um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident. Uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. Oh, it's good. Yeah, I think it's... I think we'd have to put this a bit further back, right? Alright, let's do it like this then. Just so it curves a bit nicer, right? I know we'll lose, like, uh, 
a couple of squares here and there, but what can you do, eh? Your squares! set up a little neighborhood here too <clears throat> I don't know if we're gonna get anything in here so that maybe it's a bit dangerous with the trains but um, what are we gonna call this place I couldn't think of anything else, sorry. I apologize. It's that. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh, skewed squares? No, come on. I mean, we can make the... Um, thanks very much. I got some tea chat. We can make the uh, the road uh, follow the uh, the other one around, right? It doesn't. It's not like... Uh, it's not set in stone here. Who would who wants to live in at Smellrose Place? That's the question. Any takers? Look, I think this is fine. We can get it like this. It's a bit You want it like straight to about here, right? And then, and only then, oh, ho, ho. might even be able to fit some more housing in here. What do you think of that? Make it even, even bigger and better. this is better like this right and then this uh, this one down here is maybe a little bit too close all right I got another idea then I'm full of ideas I've got all the ideas.
Oh, I think we need something that's going to follow this road curve, right? That'll, that would look the best. So, like, from here and then... Like that. It kind of follows it. It more or less follows it, I think. Okay. And then we can fit some more houses in there. In Smellrose Place. It'll do. Yes, yes it will. Connect it all up to that road and then feed on to the uh, to the big road with it, right? It's got traffic lights either side. It shouldn't be too busy around here, I don't think. check the schools quick. It's getting there. Alright. And then we got some overflow in here too. These should be fine. And this one is going to also service Smellrose Place, please. Um, we need uh, we'll need some like interim services for some of these smaller neighborhoods probably like uh, a fire department um, that can help out here and then we're gonna have to make a district over here too Glade. What are we going to call this place? Um, how's the tram count looking? It was looking pretty good last time I checked. <laughs> okay. Good one, Krelly. Krell Rose place it is. Well done. Um... And then and beyond as well. There'll be some other places out here to uh, to potentially service and stuff as well, right? We might just get like another since this is already an intersection. This is going to be for Smellrose Place and Krellrose Place. Um, 
And you know what? We can also have it for de burbs as well. And then let's do the same here. We'll get a a, a police station. Is this like a kind of like a, a sleepy the east end of the city police station, right? What happened out here? Been destroyed by the weather? What the heck was even out here? <laughs> I think a tornado destroyed half of the oil field. Melrose Place. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. The Fire and Rescue Service reports that fires are currently spreading in the nearby forest. The billowing clouds of smoke pose a serious health risk to anyone nearby. At this time, all citizens in the affected area are instructed to immediately move to a safe distance until the situation is under control. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise All right, this school, oh yeah, is already doing Smellrose Place. This has been a local public service. And then let's also get a medical clinic. Issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the street. And we'll say that this is for this has been a local these places as well, right? What kind of future does so we just need post it doesn't look to its past well I say the question speaks for itself here on second moon we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind you. whoa we're we're live um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city road maintenance services have already been dispatched and whoa. traffic flow should return to normal but if you're planning a quick trip out, you <laughs> might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. Yeah, why not? You, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, you gotta have some post boxes. Jesus, Jesus Christ. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores. Bringing the There's too much traffic coming up here. This... Man, the storage units generate just a ton of traffic. How are these doing? Three out of five, three out of five, three out of five. The land value should be nice and low out here. And we're going to make it even lower soon too, right? With uh, some of these houses. Oh no. Holly Lane's fucked. On this side of the road it is at least. Alright, we'll have a couple of bigger houses in here. Just when you think. It's okay. It, it's, it's actually fine. We'll just have a couple of bigger houses in here too.
smell Rose Place. Hmm. Hey, Laura Lana, have a good one. Peace out. There's been an accident. So, well, I mean, the, uh, the land value should be low here, so they shouldn't be complaining about high rent. It's really low around here. And look, we've cut it off. Smellrose Place has cut off the uh, the land value creep. We'll do it. We'll do some more around here so that it doesn't um, affect out here, right? Get some more houses. So the low density residential just uh, absolutely kills the the spread of the land value. It does need a gas station, yeah. You're right. I don't know if we're gonna get the tram up here. Maybe we can. Maybe this will be a bus job. Melrose Place. So they've got access to the to the schools that they need. That's good. They'll need some parks and stuff. They can get to the uh, to the big um, prison street. <laughs> I love that their main that their main road is called Prison Street. That's nice. Okay, this one Ten Hillside Lane is is abandoned now. Oh, look. Fire. Where Hello? Oh, he's coming. There he's made it. Oh, he's come, he's gone right in. They pre-foamed the truck. Get it in there, Jim. <laughs> they foamed it all up. I love that. give these people
some options in Smellrose Place. They're, they're quite well um, connected up here, right? They've got options for where they, they can go. This is a this is quite a small place too, right? So I think we'll get a cemetery out here. It'll just be for Smell Rose place. Not it doesn't need to be for Krell Rose place. Cuz if there's an accident at work, um, it'll be wherever you live, right? No liability for Krellrose. What if they kick the ball into the graveyard? Well, so be it. Well, the dead aren't going to mind much. They're dead. You're all dead. What the, what's the local football team's name? I don't know. If you die at work, your boss has to bury you in the car park or push your dead body into what happened? It collapsed. Due to lack of maintenance? Holy crap. 60 some, 705 Prison Street. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. That's the manager of the box factory's house. All right. 9.7% unemployment. With only 34 positions open in the city now. Um, the new school is seeing some action. And this new school is almost full. Fuck. They need another school over here soon. I'm running out of spots to put schools. I haven't expanded enough to cater for more. They love schools. Yeah, it's crazy. They're nearly at capacity there again. They just... It's true. They do. They are just thirsty for knowledge. You're right. 790 people at university. 562 at college. And only 560... Oh... Okay, we need to give Smellrose and the in-betweeners have not had access to high school this whole time. So we should see things go up from here. Or college, for that matter. Fudge. Okay. The people of Internet Island haven't been able to go to school or anything either. I can't believe it. We're going to have a lot of adults going to school now. We've seen a huge influx 
of new high school students. Upper downtown. You want to make like a... Alright, this one's fine. I don't think I can fit another one in here. Maybe I can. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution oh. if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been the Briarwood Highway is in the way. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. How many kids are there in this city? 26.9% of the population is children. We've had a baby boom. There's been a great big old baby boom. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, expect delays and drive safe. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. I have to fix so this. I hate it. Me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after. It doesn't look right, you know? There's something it there's something something about it is off. It's just not sitting right with me. Okay, smell Rose Place.
Okay. I think... Okay, I think I prefer that, actually. That's, that's a bit better. It just doesn't look as, like, uh... Probably fix this too, right? Yes. Get rid of these. I think that's better. I think that's a lot better. It's better use of the uh, of the space in here, right? Maybe. Melrose Place. All right, and then what? What? How does the? Um... Oh yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yes, Smellrose Place is a bus neighborhood. You're right. We are going to get people over from Smellrose to the train station by bus. So you got the tram stop, and we're going to have a bus stop, too. I don't know if uh, we're going to run the bus further than that. You know, we might just run the bus, like, around here, and then with the final destination part of the train station, I'm burping. There's been an explosion of crime over here. It looks like... Police station with 12 vehicles in use. There's like a huge crime spree happening here right now. Oh, nice. Just like uh, gridlock traffic as well. The police are stuck in the gridlock traffic. What's the problem here? The Norris family hatchback is causing um, some huge problems.
Oh, man. <laughs> Norris! <laughs> what have you done? Okay, finally, people are moving. It's weird how this happens, too, eh? You just get these big collections of people. Alright. It looks like everything is moving again. Alright. The, the traffic around here is... Steady. There's some steady traffic around here, but it's not, uh, it's not too bad. There has been a massive accident out here involving multiple cars <laughs> across quite a wide area. I don't know, maybe a train? Oh, <laughs> the air ambulance is here. Perfect. <laughs> nice! Ooh, off it goes! That's great. When you will play Fortnite, Inc. When, when you will play Fortnite IG. Hey, uh, Nazar Al Gaffrey, thanks so much for 1,000 bits. I don't know. I think my Fortnite days might be over. Thank you so much for the bits, though. And Ryan Gosling, thanks for the 420 as well. Hi, Sips, it's me, Ryan Gosling. I would like to buy your local football team. I am willing to offer you a role in upcoming movie for it. Okay, sure. Ryan Gosling. Nice. Okay, thanks very much. Good to hear. I love that. Let's get a little uh, small playground in here, too. And we'll cap it all off with... Ten the tennis court is humongous but will fit in here just need to see how long it is it is six it's seven long should fit in here Driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. How delightful. God, Another Smellrose Place. Our erstwhile listeners. Look at this. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. Smellrose Place got and is at risk of living it up too much. These days ain't. Oh, let me guess. Lineage traced back to the great Hayden himself? Hmm? Let's see here. 
All right, let's get some people, some jobs out here too. Be nice, eh? Hi, Sips. I'll buy the tennis court. All right, you got it. Uh, Nasser Al uh, Gaffrey. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy your tennis court. Thanks so much. Every stadium possible in front of the graveyard. Quite convenient, I'd say. Yes. You don't have far to go if uh, if you get served a brutal tennis ace and it kills you. Now, let's hear another one of those soul We're we're live um, and we're getting reports about the There's nobody uh, in the cemetery yet. So uh, so far so Road good. Maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, Expect delays and drive safe. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in Smell Rose Place. What a you neighborhood. Loving this. Shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after. All right. We'll get some big boys in here. Um, another thing we want to do is make it so that nothing is building on this outside bit, but we don't want to knock down that house. Melrose Place! How are we doing for unemployment? 10%? 42 open positions? Not bad, not bad. can start building um, some offices and stuff around here, I think. Look all right. Um, but let's try to straighten this. So we can get some uh, some lower lower density ones and then we can put some um, we can dot around some like bigger ones too, right?
There, that's better, right? jobs we need jobs we need them bad few jobs. We don't want it to be um, too busy down here for traffic, but it shouldn't be too bad. A lot of the traffic just seems to be from people returning home from work and stuff, you know? And once we're set up with, like, the, uh... the metro, it'll be even less congested in the city, hopefully, right? I wonder how these... Uh, parking... Jeez, look, the... Nobody's using these parking lots now. They're all using these ones. <laughs> all right. These will level up and hire a couple more people. There's 92 people working at Neckbeard Mike's Comics. <laughs> it's the size of a comic store. Good old Neckbeard Mike's. These are all full. We gotta stop building um, places for people to live uh, over here and start moving them into lower density, right? How's the uh, high school faring? Okay, it's up a little. College looks okay. University is looking okay. It's fine. the smell yeah imagine it I'm thinking about the smell right now I'm not impressed all right there's a fair amount of uh, industrial traffic coming through here but not a ton it's certainly manageable, right? Look at all the traffic coming down this highway, though. Holy shit. It's getting busy.
Gets a bit congested on the bridge. <clears throat> You're doing great, Dad. Hey, Sips. Hey. Can I buy an office and name it Big Dongs and Big Bongs? <laughs> yes. You could do whatever you like. And I hope you also enjoy yourself. Mr. Kincaid, thank you so much for 1337. Can I buy an office and name it Big Dongs and Big Bongs? Okay, hang on, yes. I'll find you one, hang on. Let me find a, a nice office for you. How about a nice office down here? You can have this one. It There's 38 people working here. Big dongs and big bongs. Big Dongs and Big Bongs, 80 Hickory Street. Nice. Nice. Hey, thanks, Mr. Kincaid, for the 1337. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Melrose Place is coming along very nicely and it should have affected the yeah look at that it's kind of cut off the uh, the land value so there's a little bit of land value added from um, the service buildings and the parks and stuff but if we put the housing all around here it shouldn't extend into Krellrose Place and should keep the rents uh, nice and low for all the industry over here, right? They're a little bit close to industry, but I don't know if the pollution over here is too bad. There's a little bit of ground pollution. Not much air pollution. A tiny bit of noise pollution, but it's pretty quiet where all the houses are tucked in the back there. There was a big accident on the highway. The best in men's clothing, Cochache trains. We have all the finest seats and many other. Whatever you desire, we will lay out on our table and show you everything. <laughs> then we measure you to your tip and you will know the trail we spoke for you. The Chache trails. You never had better.
I like the Cha Cha Threads ad. It's a good one. Alright, we can fit even more housing in here now, too. 9.7% um, unemployment with 69, sorry, 64 open positions and dropping. It looks like we're filling up some of these jobs. love to work in this office right next to these train tracks, wouldn't you? I know I would. Uh, there's no room for anything here now, so we can probably just put some trees in. More trees, and then some trees along here too. Unless we want to build some stuff right onto Barlow Street, which... I don't really. Um, some parking over here, maybe? Well, there's quite a bit up here still. There's some empty spots here, too. I like the parking lots surrounded by all the buildings. That looks nice, doesn't it? All right, we're reaching uh, critical capacity for elementary schools in upper downtown it's not looking too too hot we might need to add another school there's <laughs> so many of them already maybe we can just add one here have to move these around at some point maybe just maybe make like a huge square and just put like 20 schools in there <laughs> let's go by the old train yard yeah very a very important um site for a school
All right, we're gonna have to get some bus stops out here eventually too, right? Or at least a bus stop. We want this. We want to, a bus to go around Smellrose Place, collect up people, and then dump them at the train station here, right? So that they can get into the city and they won't have to drive. No buses say yes to more underground parking. Underground parking? Hell no, G.I. Joe. Not in my town. We're gonna get some we're gonna get some buses. And that's that. We're gonna get a bus shelter here too. This bus is going to drop people off here. Wonderful. Okay. If you need to go to Smellrose Place. We're going to collect some people from here. And across the road as well. All right. And then we can just put some stops in here too. here let's get one in here let's get one in here and then let's also get one like around here too on these corners Okay, that should be fine, right? So this is going to be the Smellrose Place feeder. We want this to be like a, a light pink, I believe. Um, it can start here. I think we want this to go on the other side of the road here. Okay. come back on itself too all right where's this bus stop let's move this here and then let's move this one Where did I, where did it go? Oh, it's here. All right, and then let's move this one here so that it can come back round on itself, right? All right. So we go here, 
here, here, here, here, here, here, here, here. And it's gonna go this way to come back? That's fine, actually. Actually, let's put a waypoint here. And then we'll put a waypoint here. Oh my god, the traffic here is horrendous. Alright, let's see if people actually start using this bus to get to the uh, train station. It might cut down on some of this traffic. It is uh, rush hour right now. <laughs> Here come all the buses. It looks like we have one cu <laughs> one customer. Nice. That's good. Now entering thick digital games. That's a route, I know. It's it, it's going to Look at there's a bunch of people waiting. We've connected them. I don't know if we needed this many buses on the route to begin with, but it'll even out and it'll be fine. Is anybody waiting at these other stops? I can't see. So we should have even more people getting off here, right? We got the pink bus and the pink tram. getting busy around here. It's getting very busy over here. I think a lot of this traffic is just going back to this industrial um, area here, right? Which we might need to just give them highway access. Instead of this medium road. Yeah, there's just too much coming off of here now. all this storage there's just so much traffic coming over to the uh to these storage areas but then it looks like there's quite a bit of traffic just coming back to smell rose place as well maybe now that they've got the it'll probably take a little while for the uh, for the buses to sort of thin out the traffic but look there's already quite a few people waiting at this bus stop to go back I 
All right, there's a bus coming now. In fact, there's two. All right. It's like half full. Off it goes. The dairy house, I think, is bugged. We had it on the last map that we did, and it never had employees. Um... The oil refinery? I don't know. I don't think I had the oil refinery. But I think some of the uh, landmark ploppable buildings are are bugged. We just got... Um, oh, we got that department store one. We haven't placed it, but we, we got this one and it works. 183 employees. Princip Principis. What's the other one that we got? We don't have any of the other industrial ones. I don't think I placed enough industrial. 10 Ivy Lane collapsed because of maintenance. Oh, a couple of these are abandoning now too. Yeah, chemical plant we had in the last map and it works okay. Um, the last map, um, we had lots of problems filling jobs and stuff, though. At one point, it was, it was, uh, full, fully employed, and then, uh, it dropped, like, less than half. But it, the, the it's a huge build, like, the, the big one hires, like, over a thousand people, right? It's wild. Okay, there's nobody going to this school yet, but this one is almost full. This is for Upper Downtown. So all the schools in Upper Downtown are full. There's a fair few of them. The school location is not good, I know. I just uh, I, I just didn't have any... We haven't really been working on downtown that much, and I didn't have anywhere to put it, so I just put it there. The, the plan is to move it after, but... All right, employment and stuff is looking pretty good. We could probably do it getting some more jobs in. This place is upgraded. Neckbeard Mike's Comics now employs 129 people. It's crazy. Ah, uh, this place built and has upgraded immediately. Good. There's a Chachi Threads going in here, too. Look at this place. 30 employees, not that many. 38 at Big Dongs and Big Bongs, 80 Hickory Street. Very nice. 53? This is fully upgraded. It's not bad. It's a 5 out of 5. 82 at Chachi Threads. God, they, you can get a lot of... Uh, the high-density commercial looks like shit, but man, it hires a lot of people. Even, even at the lowest uh, level. 82 people is kind of nuts. 9.5% unemployment and 87 open positions. <laughs> Big bongs and dongs. I love shopping at Big Bongs and Dongs.
There's only 44 employees. What are we missing? Well educated. 70 here. 164, 73, and 79. Wow. Um, <laughs> it accessed it from the highway. busy over here I think it's probably because we have um, not only the industrial on the other side but we also have uh, quite a bit of commercial here too so you'll have deliveries being made there's a couple of people using the bus Nobody waiting at the stop. Ah, uh, there's a couple of people waiting at the stop. This one just left with nine people on it. It'll probably take a little while for it to to build up. I mean, the population in Smellrose Place is not huge either, right? It's 461 people. It's growing, though. It's just, it's a young neighborhood. takes time. How come Rosewood Street is 2A? Eh? I don't know. Where is it? Oh, this one here. Um, why is this 2A? Eh? I think I made it two-way because of when we connect this up. It doesn't really need to be at all, though, right? Do-do-do-do. We should probably just put a, uh, a roundabout here. But we'd have to put it past, uh, we got the, the tracks running alongside Prison Street. going down here. 
not much, but a bit. We don't have any, um, I don't really think the bus needs to come up here e either, right? Like, th these places have parking for people to who work here to park at. 54 people full of foods. How's the land value around here now? Oh, yeah. Looking good. Sunnyside Street. The Burbs. But God, the Burbs is getting bigger. All right. It it it's a huge district, but it's all low density, right? Which will extend to here, and then anything else beyond here will just be its own district. The burbs. prisoners do we have now? Still only 55. Not bad. at all.
What the hell? Weird. It just doesn't like this. For whatever reason, I think it's just like overlapping into another cell slightly. Yeah, do it, it does it there too. That's so weird, isn't it? Um, because this is not completely straight if we do this it'll force all the cells to uh, align with this instead right yeah that looks better How goes the rose? Not whoa. Been very overcast. Not bad. It's been a huge accident. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I wish I could see that. It needs to be like an action replay button. How the hell did that motorcycle? fly all the way over here. Oh my god, this fucking traffic is insane. It's got to it, it has to be um It has to be the storage yards, right? The the storage units. Cuz not only do they generate big truck traffic, but also all these little delivery vans as well. More so than manufacturing, which doesn't seem to attract as much traffic. And then we've loaded bus traffic onto this and stuff as well. And some of these just go back. Like, where, where's this guy going? City car customs with four tons of vehicles. This guy is taking returning to wingbacks oh all right fair enough all right there's more people waiting for the bus here now
forestry. Some of the turns on the traffic lights are really odd, aren't they? Like, it, people will run a red to do a certain turn. Right on red? I don't know. I think that's like uh I don't know where where does that. They don't do it over here though. Every US state does it? Alright. I think you could do it in Ottawa as well. I think it was uh, I think you could go right on a red. But I didn't learn how to drive in Canada. I only learned how to drive over here. Okay, there's people going to this school now because this one has filled up. These ones have balanced out a little bit. Which is good. Cheap and random. Go to Pernu Apparel. Let's go to Pernu Apparel. Big offices here. Oh, it doesn't like that. about just like a random basketball court next to these offices no probably not right Street is apparently not a good location for 
for um, these offices, maybe because it's so close to the prison, which has 55 prisoners making an almighty racket. Could be to do with the land value, although it's fairly high around here. It seems to drop off a little bit. People do need exercise on their lunch breaks. You're right about that. We need to we need to change the corporate culture in this city. We need to put lots of parks next to offices so that people can do their exercise once in the morning, once at lunch, and then once after work as well. And it'll be the company's responsibility to make sure that it's happening. right Let's go to per new apparel. Doodle doo doo. You don't know what the purpose of land value is anymore since it doesn't level up your buildings? It seems to be um, used to prevent you from putting certain buildings places almost right rather than I think the the level ups come from I you know level ups apparently come from profitability right housing level ups come from money that's left over after paying rent and upkeep is so I guess it's the jobs that they get household wealth is wretched Wealthy, 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 wretched. Yeah, I don't really know. money after rent and buying resources. And the company level ups just come from extra profits every month, right? They've just made so much money that they level up. they use the same entrance as they do exit? Do they ever use this road down here? I suppose they do, right? Maybe we want to control like the uh, the way 
traffic gets in and out of this place, it might help. in this way it doesn't look like they need prison street to extend down there because they just use this as both the in and the out part of me so we could have two lanes for out. And then this goes nowhere. But then it needs an in as well, right? I'm just wondering if maybe we just try to control the uh, so they'd have to go in here or actually they would just go in here as well right They might not because they'd be they'd be wanting to go in first. Let's see if, if this can work. Try to control all the traffic coming into here a bit better. Try to offload it. So it looks like it's still favoring here as the in. Prison Street is gone. Oh shit, it's all become Forest Street. Look at all this parking. 
Not only do you have cemetery parking for the two graves that exist in the cemetery for Smellrose Place, but also across the road, more parking. It's just not needed at all. So let's get rid of it. They hated the fact that I got rid of it, but what can you do? Dang old Norman. denim leg garters. <laughs> Dang. Why is so much crime occurring here? And we've got all these issues with no pedestrian access as well. What the hell? Holy shit. Okay, let's pull those guys out of in-betweeners and get them solving some crime down here. Please. Please, a serious crime has been committed at 64 Lake Street. Have a heart. There's nine dogs living here. That has not helped. A pedestrian path connection is required. Okay. Maybe it is not required. Well, this is not even mixed. This isn't mixed, so it can't be... Oh, I see what you mean. It's a corner. This whole side of it is not... Oh, yeah. Well, it's because the fucking... Um... I see. So some of these are going to be the same as well. <clears throat> so that's where the issue comes. So it can happen when some of your blocks perhaps aren't um, done right. Done woody. Holy crap, look at all this traffic. I've never seen it build up here before. It usually builds up up here. I don't know what's...
Alright, well, I mean, the traffic seems a little bit better. We're, we're forcing it onto s this side street instead. Which maybe is a little bit better. Getting busy, though. This is just an, an intersection anyway. Oh, it doesn't have um, lights now, which is probably helping. Making it three will uh, will give lights to it, but actually kind of needs lights. I think we need lights here too. Just add more lanes. That's always the that's always the answer. does seem to always be the answer. Alright, this traffic seems to be gone now. There's quite a bit of it. All the crime seems to have been swept up too. So... So these access issues, no pedestrian access. We might be able to just get around it by This one seems fine. What size is this one? Right, three. Let's see if this helps. These ones are all fine. try some of these this one um how many people is this? 97 people holy crap oh now this one doesn't have pedestrian access oh that's so weird so I guess the way to do it is to just have it build like that but then not on the um,
Oh, that's so weird. Okay, so now it has access. There's 219 people working in this place. Fucking hell, that's a lot of people. Uh, that's weird, isn't it? I, I don't know. I'm weird. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll give you that one. More here. Okay, maybe I've solved all of them. Maybe I've done it. 691 Prison Street has been abandoned. Smelt and blast. <laughs> smelt, smelt and blast. Very good. Love a love a smelt and blast. Check this out. What about a big four laner? You like this? The one way four lane. Oh, I'm tempted. Danny's, Danny's Danims. Do 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 do
gosh. Look at this. That's a big accident waiting to happen, isn't it? Wait, this one's going... Oh, yeah. You're right, it is going the wrong way. My bad. That's why it's not... Not working. There we go, that's better. We didn't line it up with uh, this one, but I don't know if it matters. Why not use the roundabout tool? I don't know. They're too small. I like them big. I like to make big ones. Big and huge. 633 residents. 10,274 in the burbs. 21,000 in upper downtown. 8,800 in the in-betweeners. 18,000 in effectively lower uptown at some point. And 1,722 gritty off the verge. Is the tram killing it? We got we got a bus coming in here now too. Just seem to drop off quite a few people. Here comes the tram with 125 people on board. All of them. Heading to the train station. One hundred and ninety people just got on the train and are going downtown. <laughs> Look at all the people. Aha! All these people are piling in to go back to Smellrose Place. Quite a few people getting on the bus. Look at this. That's a decent load for the bus. And waiting for the next tram is like a million people. That's almost a full tram. Holy crap. No, no, the trams don't go to smell rows. Only buses. Do we want this to uh, to be a thing? It'll put lights here, which is not a terrible thing. And then we can have... Um, an awkward curve in Lake Street. 
to connect up to here. I don't know if that's really necessary. Because Prison Street just goes down into a, into a, um, the strength of Prison Street seems to die off as it gets to the prison, right? And then just becomes like a, a split off into smaller roads. Okay, what happened there? No, it's because I used a different, I think it's because I used a different road. Street. I used a different road, so it, it messed it up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Add the node. Oh, for fuck's sake. Add the fucking node. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I just give up. How's my road maintenance? I don't know. Disaster control? No. Um, transportation? How do you see road maintenance? Roads. Road condition. Bad. I guess we just don't have anybody going out to <laughs> this part of the highway. Hello? Hello? They don't seem to go, um, come down from the tunnel either. It doesn't matter if you place this, it doesn't look like it'll make it. Oh yeah, but uh, it's cause the, um, you need to drive down at first, right? They probably don't have a way to get, oh no, they do. They can go down uh, the highway from here, right? Is this the road? Road maintenance? Yeah, so they can go this way, round the roundabout, and then out this way. And keep following the highway down. They should be able to get it. They need to be able to turn off and not go to the next city. Yeah, I guess so. So there'll just be like one little stretch of road if you if you put like uh it doesn't matter i don't think maybe it matters you know what maybe it really matters I'll go 
that goes the other way. So we want, if we wanted traffic coming out of here to connect back onto here, that's ah, okay. They can just go down Lake Street and get on the roundabout and, and go that way if that's what they want to do, right? It's fine. Oh, yes, they can. All right, there's jobs here now. Smelt and Blast has opened shop. Tiny Toys, 71 people, 54 at Full of Foods, 20 at 26. I don't understand this. Matic and Winch, requiring rocks to produce minerals. Twenty six less than nine. Yeah, I know, but what does it what does it mean? Does it just not mean anything? You're dumb. You think you're dumb? Have you seen me before? I'm really dumb. Still a lot of uh, delivery truck traffic coming through here. Look at this. Shit. Look at all this traffic waiting to go up into these places. There's so much coming up here. It's kind of hard to manage the flow of it. It's just when it gets all of a sudden really busy. Hey, road maintenance is here. Road maintenance, please go this way. I guess they have no way of getting back, so they'll just never go down that way, right? They won't do it. Oh, look, these are like small storage places. That's even worse. There'll be more trucks.
I think we need to like shift this down a little bit, right? I actually just don't know if we have this stuff right next to the uh, to the cargo yard. I think maybe it's it's just causing too many issues. I think the the access to this stuff from the the street is also potentially causing problems too. So we'd have to like set it back one. Let's just redesign this. It doesn't matter, right? So that they're not, uh, here you go, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think this will be better, right, for uh, for traffic flow up around here, especially if it's going to insist on making storage. <laughs> okay, hey, I got it. <laughs> nowhere for them to go to get out of here now. have it come out onto onto here right so this so prison street exiting here doesn't need to be a three lane this can just be a two lane now So we send the stuff that needs to go here, 
then that has access to go up here to all these storage because it is all storage again. It's only it's only really busy now from the cargo yard because these are brand new, right? But once they fill up, this traffic will die down and then every once in a while a, a cargo truck will have to come and refill. But it, it, it won't be like all of them at the same time. Because now you'll get a whole bunch of delivery vans turning up here. No, the trucks aren't using the uh, road as a shortcut. They're delivering. See? 25 tons of beverages being delivered. These trucks are being spawned by the um, container yard. To fill this up. See? Food beverages there's nothing in here yet convenience food and pharmaceuticals They're the six by six big boys, yeah. See, now these little vans turn up. So the vans can cut up here so that they don't interfere with the flow of the cargo terminal. This still needs um, street lights because it'll be a bit weird without them, I think. Maybe just stop signs for now. So these bigger trucks now are delivering to something and all 21 Ivy Lane, which is up here. This one actually has employees working in it. And so does this one. Pat back medical. Look at all these little trucks. This one's going to short market. Something in all. 60 some. Almost meat. 60 some. So these are heading to the in-betweeners. It's a really weird uh, it's a it's a really weird combo because the because this spawns vehicles and these attract many vehicles it just it makes for these times where there's just a lot of traffic here because these these are all coming from downtown stores to uh, to pick up deliveries, right? I don't like this connector onto natural resource lane though. I don't know if there's maybe a better way of doing it. Are you setting a good example for your followers? 
Are you on a journey to find freshness? Are you tired of shopping at the dingy stores? Sure you are. That's why you go to Common Grocery, the ultimate destination for the discerning shopper. Why, hello, Janet. Hi, Stanley. Isn't this a lovely place to shop? Why, hello, sure. Janet. Common Grocery. Maybe if we put why lights here, we can just do it like this. For the best in men's clothing, Corchache Trades. We have all the finest silk and many other. Whatever you desire. <laughs> We will lay out on the table and show you everything. Then we'll measure you to your tip, and you will love the thread we spoke for you. A chachi thread. You never had better. What a painful intersection. Uh, it's not so bad. As long as it keeps traffic flowing somewhat, it's not too bad. I think I think um, with the amount of traffic, a roundabout would just get too busy as well, right? I actually think that we want to have this become a one-way road. feeding into it. I don't know if that's necessary. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> it's even worse now. <laughs> I mean, we could use some of this, this to say no right turns or, or whatever as well if we wanted to. I don't know if it helped much. I think we want anybody leaving here to be able to go where they need to. But then is anybody actually coming down here? The trucks... The trucks that need to skip all this from here will need to go straight down Prison Street, right? We might have some here now. No. As long as these guys are actually delivering to, to these places and not just using it as a weird quote-unquote shortcut. <laughs> that This guy did. How is that shorter, going up here, along here, and here, just to turn here, rather than just going straight here and then up? This guy just came straight. Okay, no, he's turning. Okay, that's fine. It's not the best intersection, but it does seem to um, control the flow a little bit. Right? Which is what we want. And it's nice because stuff coming out of this area has their own place to queue up. And then stuff coming straight out of here that doesn't need to go here has its own place to queue up as well. Yeah, it absolutely does. I don't know if you've ever driven a car before and had to stop at traffic lights, but like this, I would, I wouldn't mind stopping here. It's, it's pretty fast.
natural resource lane doesn't have enough lanes. I don't know. The traffic up here isn't too bad, though. I don't know where this truck is coming from, but he just drove right through the burbs. The people want Randy Savage Memorial Cream of the Crop Lane. Why cream of the crop? Because he rises to the top? Watching the trains. Spending my time watching the trains go by. 7.6% unemployment now the lowest we've ever had it i think but we have more open positions than uh, usual 294 students this is evened out really nicely we're not adding more population hopefully to these places now so maybe we can um but i suppose some of these buildings will upgrade right like this one for example now has 726 people living in it that's one building fucking hell <laughs> That's huge. It's nice to see that people are still trusting the city train to get around and using the the buses and the trams to get here to do it. Very nice. Quite a few people waiting. Isn't, uh, why isn't this area um, good for why residential suitability? Why is it so bad along here? Why has this become all red? Should be fine, no? Weird, eh? Well, it's all building. Prison Street, eh? What a what a place to live. Oh, 
Did I accidentally put high in here? What the hell? I did as well. That's probably why, right? The suitability went down. I, I didn't mean to put high density. How many people work here? 11? It's not bad. Maybe that high density commercial was um, making this unsuitable for um, low density residential in my new favorite neighborhood, Smell Rose Place. green as the houses grew it has yeah maybe because there's no low um residential houses along prison street it's uh it's not suitable who knows We are packing them in. There are now 848 people living in this new neighborhood. We moved them all in. And they live close to some potential places that they could work. Oh my god, man. Look at all the traffic coming up here. We might have to get rid of some of this. No, I think, well, it alleyways are slower, but they're okay for trucks. They're just, there's just so much traffic coming up here. I think it's the mix of, um, I think it's these storage yards. I mean, the traffic, we have all this industrial down here and it's, Nowhere near as bad. I think the I think the storage um, units in conjunction with uh, with the cargo stuff is uh, is a tricky one. You're doing great, Dad. Where would all these people normally go to pick this stuff up directly from the cargo harbor? Hey, Massimo, thanks for the two. Hey, Sips, been watching since the OG Minecraft series, never donated before. Just wanted to say thanks so much for the constant laughs, you old bastard. Hope you and your family have a great holiday season. Much love. Hey, you too. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Massimo.
You had to make a giant one-way system for your industry areas? Manufacturing, I don't think is so bad, though. Like, this is not bad at all, right? Although... <laughs> Joe, I've never even looked at the traffic over here. It's just never been, like, a, an issue. But it's still not so bad, right? Because a lot of this stuff is manufacturing. It seems the storage stuff, again, because it it probably generates more traffic around it. Because um, you'll have the little delivery vans going out to it. Like, look at all the little vans. There's tons of them. And then you've got the the additional traffic of people turning up parking, getting out of their car, looking around a bit, and then jumping back in. We, I still can't figure out what that is. It must be like a like a free time thing, right? Just to make the city seem like more lived in. Tourists, maybe? Uh, maybe. They don't seem to be tourists, though, unless they're just, like local tourists. Because Okay, look, this guy, for example, just turned up. Huh? Katarina Keller is shopping. She lives at 81 Olive Lane, and her destination is here. Something at all. 21 Ivy Lane. She's just buying wholesale convenience food? So she stands in here, and now she's going home. <laughs> she just stands outside. So that's not a tourist. <laughs> that is somebody doing their shopping. But it's not traffic that's needed out here at all. She could have just gone to do her shopping somewhere around here. Or down here. I mean, these are all... Furniture, chemicals, food, paper, convenience food. She could have shopped down here, right? This, this place is like a ghost town. There's nobody here. Oh, she had a coupon. Oh, of course. Fuck, I forgot. Oh, I forgot about the coupons. just leveled up. There's a bug with people shopping directly at warehouses and it can reach critical levels of traffic. Okay, well, I don't think we're at critical, but it is a little weird. <laughs> it, is, it is odd that they do it. I mean, at the same time, it's kind of cool to see people turn up to these places and park and stuff. And I like the fact that you have some industry that isn't just like smog belching manufacture manufacturing like the these storage places look kind of cool but the interaction with them is just really odd Yeah, the storage places employing maybe a couple of people would make sense, too. I agree, Dowie. This is okay for what we have here. I'm not. 
I'm not going like expanding this place that much either. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Hey look, Moundsville. What there's a Moundsville fire truck here. Our guys couldn't reach it, I don't think. They had no no way of reaching it. Yeah, the sim the simulation does slow down a little bit sometimes. All right, it's almost lunchtime, chat. Pick your poison. You want to have a uh, you wanna, do you want to do you want to watch cars zooming by on the highway? Zoom. This nice uh, skyline in the Yes. You want to sit on a tram? I don't think you can get like a a decent first person though. How's like this? A bit loud, isn't it? Like this, yes. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, it's loud, eh? Jeez. Did the whole thing burn down while I was gone? No. Looking good, looking good. Melrose, Smellrose Place is having some difficulty with uh, trash. We might need to think about getting a... Um, all of the vehicles are in use right now. Storage extension doesn't give us more. And neither does hazardous waste collection. Can we please get a truck... A recycling truck over to the smell rose place soccer field please the camera stopped at the at that point as a sign you should fix that intersection which this one the one that we were where was it it was around here wasn't it oh this intersection's a mess yeah it's it's it, it is a mess don't get me wrong but also um the traffic shouldn't ever, shouldn't ever be too bad around here either, so maybe it doesn't need to be. But maybe it, maybe we can. Maybe. Dowie, I got tea. It was the next thing I was gonna say. I did get tea. I did get some tea. <laughs> Congratulations, T-Bet winners, if you won. Well done. Well done. Good read. Good read of the situation. I'm loving uh, I'm loving how this is shaping up actually. It's nice. We got we got further burbs. Got like another neighborhood here. And people are already, it's a brand new neighborhood, and people are already complaining about high rents. They have nowhere that they can move to, is the problem. Do, 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 do. I wonder if Smellrose Place is the type of place where the land value is low enough that we can get some low rent housing in. And I wonder if it would look really out of place this far back in the low density stuff. Oh, that's hot tea, but very nice as well. The housing plot smaller does make for lower rent, yeah, but there's always, even with small uh, plots, people will still complain about rent. Um, I don't know if it's a, 
I don't know if maybe the people who are complaining about high rents want to move to low rents. I'm not sure. It's like we picked up garbage here, but now we need to pick some up here. I feel like our garbage service is uh, kind of like at capacity now. See what these look like and see if people move into them. The land value stays low. Should be okay, right? 63 people immediately moved in. So they'll always complain about um, small homes, right? But as long as everything else balances out, it should be okay. They got some nice parking here too. See if we can get some low rent apartments into smell rows. See if we can get some customers. Make a low rent area and call it Blackpool. Is um is is Blackpool a known low rent zone? How's this school doing? Gosh. It's creeping up already. Have any of these? No. Oh, these are all full. These ones seem to balance out a little bit. Not so much that one. Or that one. Right. We have to... Uh, we're going to have to start moving some people out of effectively lower uptown at some point. Because we're we want to repurpose this area. We don't want this much traffic coming down here. We've got this bus stop here. We've got all this parking here as well. This whole area has turned into just a little bit of a nightmare. Holy crap! Look at the size of these ones. 64 so there are people wanting to live in these 71 and 64 they are moving into them they're parking their cars out here too nice I don't think it looks too out of place just have a couple of them out here I wonder what these um, change into. What does it? What does a level two out of five low rent look like? These people are happy, even though they're small homes. But these people are just content. I prefer these ones to be um, these bigger ones. Maybe I'll cycle them until we get the bigger ones. There's quite a bit of parking here too, isn't there? Look at all the residents have just been kicked out. <laughs> when you kick them all out, look, they just go... <laughs> they get a stick with like a bag at the end of it. And they just go wandering. Where am I going to live next? Where's next for me? <laughs> Look, there's a whole bunch of them just standing in the construction yard. Where did my apartment go? Yeah, that's better. Look at that. Boom. Let's get another zigzaggy one on there.
Yeah, nice. Look at that. Good old Smellrose Place. All these people have somewhere to live for a bit cheaper now. Great. And you still get the uh, you still get the low density around here as well, even though. are bigger buildings and it's not all seniors either it's mostly adults with a couple of teens. Teens and some children as well. Alright, high school is looking okay. College is looking good. University is also looking okay. These people are complaining about high rent. There's still demand for these, so let's build some more. crane one's gonna be small oh yeah you can see how small it is gonna be that'll be a taller one and this will be a taller one so we can make them all tall make it, we're making a housing project I'd love to get like longer um, like New York style buildings you know like the really long but quite quite thick buildings for housing projects would look kind of cool Oh my god, look at all this traffic. This is unbelievable over here. There's like six buildings over here. And you compare the amount of traffic coming to these six buildings compared to... There's like a hundred buildings over here and there's not even a fraction of the traffic. Look at all this. There's more people than ever just turning up here to get out of their car, look, and then go back in their car. For no, Like, nobody even works here, by the way. These are just storage units. I think the roundabout, it's this, the roundabout's just gonna have the same issue. It's it, it, just the volume of traffic over here is just, is too high. I think it's just the, the, the type of buildings it's created. And the interaction that it, that these storage buildings in particular have with the cargo um, terminal.
You see now you got these cargo trucks coming in to add to the traffic, but also they're delivering to these other units across the road here. One of the big ones. Some of these vans just take the scenic route up uh, Lake Street. Why not? I suppose, right? Oh, it's made another small one here. Let's see if we can get a big one. It's a big red crane. <coughs> so people who are complaining about high rents, I would expect them maybe to move into some of these since the rent is lower but maybe there's just such a need for low rent. There's more and more popping up. Oh, you can't see the cranes on these ones because the other cranes are too big. So the different color, do, do the different color cranes correspond to what building it's going to be? So like the white crane, what, will make one of these ones? Or what? I guess we'll see. Close, it made this like beige one. Nice. How's this school doing? Doing all right.
Nice. <clears throat> the great parking lot of Smellrose Place. The size of the parking lot is ridiculous. It is a huge one. I mean, it's not that big in the grand scheme of things, though. It is pretty big, though. Oh my god. Look at all the people trying to access this parking lot right now. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, have we generated a lot of traffic down here. complaining about high rent even though I think that's the most um, low rent housing I've ever built before and it's all full as well people have moved into it people have embraced it Try to get some more in. <coughs> if there's uh, if there's demand for it, you could try to make some bigger ones, perhaps. We 
What did the biggest ones um, look like? And how many people can they can we cram into them? It's <laughs> good. I, it might be, it might be a little bit uh, out of place, but I don't think we can get big low rents into uh, into Upper Downtown because I think the land value is just way too high. Yeah, look at that. It's just, it's ramped. We can do it out here because the land value is lower, right? Okay, it's not it's not that big. It's pretty big. <laughs> 144 uh 145 residents, okay. Across uh as many households. All right. I don't think it's absorbing people complaining about high rents though. Oh, I love the shape of this one. That's a beauty. This one's got its own parking baked into it. creeping up again the population of downtown now 23,000 9,000 for the in-betweeners smell rose has gone up to 2,180 and the burbs 10,666 crazy
Yeah, look at these. These look great. They are huge, and they fit a lot of people in them, too. Right next to the small homes, yeah, we can make we can make uh, bigger uh, bigger low rents in here though. Look at all the parking; it's been used already. <laughs> Holy shit! These people they need their cars. I wonder how the uh, the buses into downtown are looking. Oh my god. That didn't take long. This house was just built. Maybe it's the the um that storyline from LA Noir where the that arson the arsonist is uh is doing all that. Oh, here come the fire trucks. Look, they're stuck behind the bus. The whole new neighborhood has burnt down in the time it's taken for the fire truck to get down here. We might need some backup. The coverage over here is pretty good, but... What about a firefighting helicopter depot? I like these these two other buildings with the parking, like flanking these cross-shaped ones. How do we get these bad boys to level up so that we can fit more people in here? Oh my god. Look at the amount of people moving here. It's like the lineup for Disneyland. <laughs> oh god. They all want to come and park at their new their new place of living. Everyone wants this premium parking, yeah. Might need to get another one of these plopped down. I mean, eventually, hopefully, these people just start taking the bus. But I think when they when they move in, the first time they move in, they turn up in their cars and they have to park them up and stuff. Maybe then, after a while, oh, well, traffic's really bad everywhere. Look, they're all coming in from out of town. <laughs> Remember when I said that? We, we weren't expecting the traffic to be too bad around this intersection, so we could just leave it? Well... <laughs> like 20, 20 trams just despawned. Look, they left everybody stranded as well. It's a full load. It was the best in men's clothing. Court Let him through. <laughs> no. We have all the kindness oh, a few. We got to get these people downtown. We will lay out on our table and 
It's just getting worse. Oh, these these cheaters! They're all for they're all U-turning here to go uh, to go the other way, aren't they? All right, don't worry. It's bad now. It'll level out, right? It's all these people moving into these premium new homes. They're just so thrilled to be p paying such low rent in such a snazzy new part of the city. Who could blame them? people we've attracted to smell rose place well the smell rose place experiment has been an interesting one though right with the with the land value and and everything this weird industrial area it has been it it's been a weird one to the parking lot of this commercial place. I've never seen that. A lot of these people have their own driveways, so they don't need uh, the parking, but all the people living in these brand new luxurious low rents uh, need parking, right? There's nowhere to park. All of the baked in parking is used up already. <laughs> oh my god, man. 64 households, 76 residents, and like 10 parking spaces. The hell? Yeah, we're hoping that they catch public transport, but none of them seem to be. They're too busy just uh, flooding the city for now. I think I think once they've moved in though things will settle and then we'll we should start seeing people taking the bus and stuff, right? There's 14 people on this bus. 31 getting on to go back home. Trams are pretty busy too. Oh, this is almost a full bus load now. Holy crap.
let's try to see what um what these bus stops are looking like they're not busy at all there's like barely anybody waiting for the bus out here so what are these what's up with these people then Uneducated, poorly educated, educated, well educated, highly educated. <clears throat> the Hennessy family. Unemployed. The Weaver family. Unemployed. Unemployment's back up to 10.6% with 59 spots open so let's try to get some low commercial in at least get some people some jobs These places are upgrading. They're looking nice as well, actually, as they upgrade. These places have upgraded. This has. Oh, these look great. Cry more, fixed traffic, and snafu insurance. Marinus, 139 employees. Petrol Pony, 139 as well. It's pretty good. Some of these smaller office buildings, when they level up to five, start hiring more people as well. There's quite a few people working in these ones, for example. 54, 54, and 54. 184 employees here. Trash is looking okay. density commercial buildings in here um, and we still have the square center as well which will not fit in any of these locations or this one it's quite a big building actually Yeah, the crematorium building is an odd shape as well, isn't it? It's a bit awkward to place sometimes. Let's put it on Pearl Street. And then we can put this uh, signature building in here, right? Because it gives uh, well-being. Oh, it's cool. Pernu Apparel. Look, it's got some nice places to eat outside and everything. So, NA Low Density Business. What am I building right now? NA Low Density Business. 4,000 cells to get the diner. 7,000 cells to get the food station and 15,000 cells to get the one-stop station. 
Vehicle factory needs oil drilling, mining area hub buildings for ground earth, the crushing large rocks one. The dairy house needs two more agricultural. The paper factory needs forestry. I don't have any. Chemical plant needs 8,000 cells of manufacturing. The fuel plant needs 50 level five industrial manufacturing. Level five industrial manufacturing 100 to get switch on. Pharma needs a, a medical university, but we're, we could get that potentially. We build the medical university. We can unlock that. Do we want to build a medical university? Eventually, yeah, I don't know really where to put it right now because I think it's quite big. Technical. Oh, I haven't even unlocked it. I mean, I've got 41 points so I can unlock it. I can unlock it whenever I want, pretty much. I don't think the dairy thing is fixed, Dowie. Somebody was saying that they were having problems with the dairy building as well. <coughs> All right. Okay, there's a lot of people waiting for the bus now. There's 27 people waiting to get off the bus. Forty-two. There's 180 passengers waiting for the next train. Options, um, general graphics, gameplay, day night visuals. Let's see what this place looks like at night. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's really cool. Look at the, uh, look at the, um, the apartment buildings, the lights in the windows. Oh, that looks so good, actually. They've done such a good job with that. Because, look, the, the interiors are all different. And the lights are all slightly different. It looks a lot more realistic, doesn't it? And many other. Whatever you desire, we will lay out on our table and show you. And we measure you to your per new apparel. The thread we spoke for, the chachi threads. You never had better. All right, that's cool. All right, let's put it back to just daytime because it's a little bit easier to work in just the day, right? Whoa. My eyes. Um, crematorium, please. Oh, it's because it's on a, it's on a one-way road. That's why. <laughs> Whoopsies. here it's on a it's on a one-way road to nowhere
go to Pernu Apparel. Okay, remind me that I've done this and that I need to change it at some point. Alright, the hearses are leaving. Send in the hearse. Man, I don't um, envy this guy having to drive around here and find all these dead bodies. <laughs> Oh man. 78, 77, 91, and 71 people working at these places. Pretty good. This place upgraded immediately and is employing 90 people. <coughs> right. So, employment, unemployment is down to 9%. We have 318 open positions. But that's because we just built all these new buildings. So, these jobs are getting filled up really quick. Perfect. 526 students at that school. High school is, and the college are seeing a lot more people at them. The university is about the same. So if we start putting some of these people to work. Average wealth is wealthy. So we should see some of these upgrade, hopefully. This guy works at Chemicalor. Ah, it's one of the new places. Oh, okay, cool. It's one of the new uh, commercial buildings that we set up, right? No, we have not done a metro. Fuck, I should probably do one, actually. Oh, the parking situation down here is a lot better and it looks like we fixed all those weird pedestrian access ones although this one has done it again we interrupt this program to bring you a special new bulletin fire and rescue 219 people work here though i don't want to knock it down the billowing clouds of smoke pose a serious health risk to anyone nearby at this time all citizens in the affected area are instructed to immediately move to a safe distance until the situation is under control. I see this space and I just think to myself, development, 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 you know, I just can't help myself.
Maybe we can just have this come out here like that. And then we can fit some more stuff in here potentially. I think if we're gonna do this, let's just do it here instead, not on the roundabout. Going big. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. How has this happened to me? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is bad. I don't think there's enough fire trucks in the world <laughs> to help with this. God, we need a priority disaster response uh, thing. This is bad. No, we don't have any sprinklers. The whole waterfront's going up. Jesus Christ. Look at all the people! Holy shit! <laughs> oh no, the elementary school burnt down! Oh, it's spreading! <laughs> it's spreading everywhere! A disaster oh thank god it started raining uh, we might need some fire helicopters Okay, the, the rain has put out most of the forest fires, but it has not put out all of these building fires. We're still struggling with the building fires. The cemetery burned down. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Do we have? 
have a crematorium out here? We do, don't we? <laughs> oh, no, we don't. Oh, yeah, we do. It's going to be very busy. <laughs> Processing speed. 116 bodies per month. We're going to need it. Oh, man. Oh, the rain stopped. Not the row houses. Oh, fudge. Sure you are. That's why you go to Common Grocery, the ultimate destination for the discerning shopper. Why, hello, Janet. Hi, Stanley. Isn't this a lovely place to shop? It sure is. Common Grocery. For twice the price, it's twice as nice. We have a few open positions across the city. Owing to a large portion of the city dying. I hope the car park survives. Holy crap. What the hell are we going to do if it doesn't? Uh, no, Adele's house did not burn down. Adele's house is fine. Looks like the fires are out. Now we have to rebuild. We're gonna have to gather up the dead. Looks like everybody's temporarily using the other schools. For now, understandable, understandable. <laughs> Accident. Building fire, 35 casualties. Forest fire, 1,058 casualties and 673 damaged buildings. Oh my god. That's a lot of people dead. I just wanted to make some more low rents for smell rows. I mean, I didn't expect the situation to get so out of hand. is it really is park street over here this is an emergency broadcast to all citizens the fire and rescue service reports that fires are currently spreading in the nearby forest the billowing clouds of smoke pose a serious Oof. health risk to Okay, it can't the fire this can't get over the river at least this time, right? Are instructed to immediately Gosh. move to a safe distance until the situation is under control. these pedestrian access icons with all these errors Alright, 
moving it seems to have worked. Oh, nice. There's three people um, attending the new school already. Oh man, Smell Rose is just blowing up right now. It's going crazy. What the hell? <laughs> What's it doing? What is it doing? it managed this
Okay. I guess it was the cells on the other side. That's weird, isn't it? Choking. I'm choking. <clears throat> what are all these guys doing? Unemployed, 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 unemployed. No, wait, this one works at Sneaky Ridge. A lot of them are unemployed, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we need some jobs. We need to find some jobs for these people. Maybe they can help clean up down here. This place got totaled. Get down here and fix these basketball courts. I can't believe how many people are just hanging around out here. Look at them all. This one is the worst one. Look at this. You have a commitment in your content. This makes you the special one. Hey, um, Nasser Al Gaffrey, thank you so much for the thousand bits. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sure you are. Sure you are. The ultimate destination for the discerning shopper. Why, hello, Jen. Hi, Stanley. Isn't this a lovely place to shop? It sure is. Common groceries for twice the price. It's twice as nice. Yes. Look at that. <clears throat> That was a, that was a nice donation, yeah. Thank you so much. It's not often people compliment me, if ever, I should say. How are we going to, um, what are we going to do with the, all these people here in the low rents? There's still people complaining about rent, but less, possibly? I don't know. Uh, 
There is a tremendous amount of traffic coming over here still. People seeking out some premium parking <laughs> spots. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> now that we know we can do um, low rent stuff, it'd be nice to try to... Um, design like a kind of like a like a housing project or something you know like box it off a bit I'm actually going to um, get rid of these ones, the smaller ones, and turn this into housing, <coughs> and then keep the big ones. Total 10,000 bits to the special one. Hey, um, Nasser Al Gaffrey. Thank you so much, man. Thanks again for the thousand bits. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. That is a lot of bits. Thank you so much. Is this Detroit? <coughs> Maybe. Perhaps it is. You're doing great, Dad. If they complain, just kick them out. Give the house to someone that appreciates having a home. Easy. True. True. Hey, Taco Biscuit, thanks for the 20. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Well, I did that. I kicked him out. I kicked him out. 7.6% unemployment. The 192 positions across the city. Not as many people complaining about low rent now. <clears throat> um, but that's probably because thousands of people died in that fire. How, is, how are we looking at a glance here with the uh, buses and stuff? There's quite a few people taking the bus now. <laughs> this is a very, very busy spot now. It's great, though. It's nice to see it so busy. <coughs> Pardon me.
Daffodil Street. Nice. Another Daffodil Street. I know the the um, the street names get uh, reused quite quite often. Unfortunately. Time to start using numbers for street names. We've just run out of names. We're all out of street names. What items is it overlapping? Oh, I see there's the supports under there. <laughs> That's why. So we'd have to move it back. I kind of hate this whole thing going over like this. But then something will have to go over, but I don't want it to be the train. A train could potentially just go into a, another tunnel, run alongside the other one that's going in a tunnel. I don't really need three parallel roads. I just want to use this space over here, but I'm not I'm not sure how to get over to it with the train track in the way. I'll probably have to put the train in a tunnel.
journey to find freshness? Are you tired of shopping at the dingy stores? Sure you are. That's why you go to Common Grocery, the ultimate destination for the discerning shopper. Why, hello, Janet. Hi, Stanley. Why, hello, Janet. It sure is. Common Grocery. For twice the price, it's twice as nice. Oops. can fit more houses in there. Dive under the road. Um, yeah, we still have these this like uh, double lane here that is gonna be a bit weird. <laughs> here. Take me back under. gonna be less
Oh, uh, not right next to it. Maybe we should have done parallel and then just, uh, maybe it's not too late actually. Then we can get them both the same. Um, can we do parallel double track? Yeah, of course you can. Okay, let's do it then. All right. All right, check this out, you ready? Oh shit. Oh look what it's done. It's made like a it's made a rather than it just going like right underground, it's made a uh it's made a trench. I didn't go down deep enough, I guess. Oh that's neat. That the minus four point six percent grade is kind of insane, though. No. This is on just like the slightest. <coughs> oh, wait. All right. Okay, hang on. Let me fix this. Oh yeah, we had to like slightly move it, right? Because of the um
I mean, if we're just going underground, let's just go underground over here then. And then we just have straight track to deal with. Does that make more sense? Minus 2.3%? Maybe that's better? That's a, a long tunnel, the way. Hello? What's that? Oh, thank you. Ooh, did you make them? Cool. I'm gonna eat them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Careful, watch your step. <coughs> peanut butter cookies my my daughter made some peanut butter cookies and they're still warm Delicious. Oh my god. Can you go in the tunnel? <laughs> I don't know if you'd feel sick in here. Maybe you would. We can go right under here. Yes, and then I think it's like here. It's a bit of a weird one because it's so far away. Her new apparel.
<coughs> okay. <coughs> it goes like a bit odd here, right? Train recalibrating? That's the Dunstable Express. And then we should have the non Dunstable Express. This one's got 119 passengers on it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm so flemmy. 306 passengers? Jeez. This is a busy train station. How unusual. I know, I know. I'm not normally such a phlegmy person. In fact, it's very rare that I ever have phlegm. <clears throat> Maybe it just needs some water. Maybe this parking lot needs to be rebuilt now that the great fire is over. No wonder uh, the fire got so out of control. <laughs> the Burbs firehouse burned down. Unbelievable. That is just unbelievable. All right, now we don't have to worry about um, the whatchamacallit, the train tracks. Move the train tracks out of the way. This means that we could potentially move this roundabout up here. trying to snap onto the train tracks underneath. It's, uh, I don't even know where it, uh, it messed up. I feel like it's, like, up here and here. But maybe I'm not, uh, right about that.
Uh, I think it looks better. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. I think it's fine. Whoa. And this guy can connect up to here too. And on the other side too. lights. Um, and then get these guys. Um, right through here. train pathfinding that's failed oh it's the uh, it's the bus route okay let me fix the bus route I thought it was the train for a sec it's not the train <clears throat> The road train. It's creeping up a little.
Woo! Whoosh! All right, great. Now we have uh, this uh, this space over here to um, to put stuff into if we want to. It sure is. Common groceries. For twice the price, it's twice as nice. Maybe we'll put a curve on this. Maybe that curve is just too crazy. I think the curve, I think this curve maybe is a bit too crazy. We'll just lose a lot of space, I think, in here, right? Whereas we could bring it like to here, for example. Maybe curve into it. to be accessed from the the roundabout. I think it's fine to just access it from here, right? you away from the roundabout you don't like him you don't like a little um a, a roundy a roundy mcbout Why does it snap to that? I 
That's so weird, isn't it? Maybe we go more like... And then we can have like smaller ones in here. There's no demand for them right now. Now there is. Let's see what these look like. This is still part of Smellrose Place. It looks like there's been a very big crash. Right along the new road. Well, the old road. Oh! A big crane, right? Big crane for a big building. Drive, you fool. Drive. Where are you going? Fucking hell. We need the extra lane.
You can do it, bus. I'm believing. It's a lot of people move. Oh, yeah. Those those came up nice. Look. Couldn't ask for better, right? They're just the ones. It's nice and uniform now. It's all these people moving in. 144, 144, 72, and 72. It's a lot of people, right? Some of the city education could also teach these assholes how to drive. It, it just it deletes their cars and just dumps all the people right in the middle of the roundabout. <laughs> They're all gonna walk home now. Are there a bunch of people just waiting outside these ones as well? Not too many. What's unemployment at right now? I'll check in a sec. better uh, what's happening up here um, what's happening what's that gap there for okay this seems to have resolved resolved itself right outside the prison as well. I think they're trying to do a, a huge prison break.
Nice and flat, baby. Woo! 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 I love it flat. Just make the whole city a big roundabout? Okay. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> uh, shit. One huge ring around the whole town? That's a great idea. Alright, well, redoing the, the train stuff has helped big time. Fuck, I can't believe we're gonna need another school soon. These are all packed. 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 Shit. So people have to send their kids to this school now, too, from the in-betweeners. Because the in-betweeners schools are all packed. Those ones have balanced and rebalanced again. How's older education? There's enough people at university right now. College, fair few, and high school, it's looking pretty good too. It's the um, it's the it's the elementary schools that are the big one. They just get so rammed. be cool if you could stack the elementary schools on top of each other for a mega school. That would be great. It's quite busy around here. Melrose suddenly become as big as the Burbs? Well, it's got all this low rent in it. It's got 20, 2,400 people living here, but the Burbs still way bigger. 9,771 people. Smellrose is sending all of its kids to uh, the Burbs for school. But yeah, it could probably do with having a school. doing one of these at a time. I'm going to make sure that it turns into a big one, though. There we go. Uh, because it just generates so much traffic. There's so many people trying to get to this building. So they, they want to move in. It's moving day.
I like I like zoning, um, but also I wish that there was just ploppable buildings, like uh, for example, like big buildings. Just give me ploppable uh, residential buildings. I'll just pick the ones I want and put them where I want as well. And then you could make nice, nice blocks. You know, <clears throat> I wouldn't I wouldn't plop like each house because I I quite like how the game you know, generates all these little houses and stuff, but for big buildings, it'd be nice to just plop them. Give me every plop. Skyscrapers, yeah. Just big apartment blocks and stuff, too. Okay, here comes uh, a bunch of people moving in. So many people turn up in their cars. Jesus Christ. They're just jamming up everything. That's just one building. Imagine we built all three at the same time. I guess it messes up because they need to be on, uh, well, I guess they, they can be in the middle lane to turn off, too. Uh, I think it's just a volume thing. Don't really want this much volume going through one roundabout at any given time, but... It's like 144 people trying to all move in at the exact same time, so... that we were able to to build all these uh, low rent places it's quite nice hopefully should get rid of all these high rent signs that does not seem to be doing the 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 trick though so i think these people um won't move because i think when you build places i think these people all come in from the outside right three thousand one hundred ten people moved in this month and only 875 moved away. Unemployment is down to above a roundabout? I don't know. I've never tried. Probably can, yeah. Doodly -loo, doodly -loo. Oh no, another fire. <laughs> Please. Not again. We only just recovered. Uh, engine 35. We got a huge fire on Willow Lane here. Oh, here he comes. Look, no problem. He's got to put out two fires now. He took too long.
denim. We got every denim you can imagine. We got square ends and box straps and hide them away at home dirty denim. There's a lot of light commercial down here. Down this road, Lake Street, which is actually Prison Street. The best in men's clothing, Kurchache trades. We have all the kind of silk and many other desire. We will lay out on our table and show you everything. Then we measure you to your tip and you will love the trade we spoke for you. The Chache trades. You never had better. can do these little ones let's see what these turn into it's a snowing They're cool. Oh, they're great. 24 households. 144. Oh, shit. Here they all come. I put a sidewalk next to a sidewalk because the... The, the zoning cells are a mess in this game. So if you want to have, if you want the zoning cells to appear or, or to, to stick to roads that you want them to stick to, you can put a path to cancel them out on the other side. That's why there's like all these stupid sidewalks everywhere because I've had to push the zoning cells onto the roads that I want them to, to be on, you know? It's annoying. You get used to it, I guess. I think you can... Yeah, once it's zoned, you can delete the sidewalk after and then just put trees or whatever you want in. See, now they're zoned properly. But then I'd probably put a sidewalk here because the, the little alley roads don't necessarily have a sidewalk. just connect some stuff up like this. Until it messes up your um, your whole thing. I don't know why this is messed up actually.
<laughs> I don't get it. And now everybody can go and visit their mom and their grandma and everyone else using uh, nice internal paths. commercial area just hates these trees. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. We might just need to leave this this one. It seems to, to hate anything happening around it without it. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? We haven't done much tree plopping recently. We've done a lot of like infrastructure stuff, but we haven't really done much finishing off and detailing of places. That looks great. I like that. That's a nice uh, that's a nice little block. Not a lot of plopping. Citywide metro? No, oh, come on. We don't, our population is not that big. Maybe in in downtown, but I'm not like in a mad rush to do it. I think the uh, I think the I think the trains that we have, trams and buses, is working fine. Smellrose place getting quite big though. I mean, it might be worth getting trams through here at some point as well. Could you imagine a tram going down Prison Street? Me too.
do 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 Probably look pretty good when it's all done. Are there any prisoners in the prison? Yeah, there's 65 in here now. Oh god. It's almost time for another school. Yes. Hickory Lane. Hick Hickory Hick Hick Hickory Lane. Sometimes, chat, you just gotta pack them up and pack them in. And that's what I'm doing. I'm packing them up and I'm packing them in. I think, um... Yeah, around here we'll just have some trees and stuff for the highway, right? We might also get the sound barriers on here too. For the best in men's clothing, Kochache trades. Oh no. Have all the fancy and many other. Whatever you desire. We will lay out on our table and show you everything. When we measure you, do you tip and you will know. The trade we spoke for you. A chachi trade. You never had better. Now entering thick digital games. Prepare for sensory overload. You want it thick? Digital! Are you a man or a mountain? Digital! Are you ready for a game that rips down your heart and stops it to death? Digital! digital. Then come on down to thick digital and we'll hook you up to adrenaline overdrive. You won't be able to take much more of this, sir. Then hit them with everything we've got. Digital. Thick digital. It's all out war. Okay, bus route. Go here now. What a what a great bus route we've made. Look at all of the new <laughs> I was gonna say customers, but maybe I should say <laughs> bustomers. <laughs> oh. 
Anyway, sorry about that. Um, look at all the new people going on to the bus. Fuck, fuck me. Yeah, no, fuck me. You're right. Well, anyway. Some, uh, some nice some nice customers to go down to to downtown let's get this this bus stop populated populated for some more hot bus action 153 brave souls heading downtown we got a couple of people heading back over to smell Rose place no I can't put a pedestrian bridge in here there's no room I think it's okay. If we could put some uh, lights there, it'd be pretty good. I, c I couldn't put lights last time I tried. Oh my god, these tramps. 176. Jeez. Alright. 7.2% unemployment. 176 open positions across the city. low rents. They look great. I'm not going to provide parking over here for these. I've decided. These are going to be some big houses. We'll get it. We'll get some big ones in here. It's going to be so loud. Not related to what I just said, but which execution method would you choose if you were on death row? I don't think you get a choice anymore, do you? I think it's just lethal injection nowadays, right? I don't think they hang people anymore or give them the chair or anything like that.
Do you think that the the the, the woods can uh, absorb a lot of the uh, noise coming from the highway as well, or not really? You would take death by snoo snoo? Snoo snoo. Oh man, what a city, eh? I think this is probably the best city I've ever made. It's, it, it's looking great. Better than Satansville? A little bit, yeah. And Donutville, yeah. Bagelsville. We've done so much terraforming in this one but it's been really effective <laughs> at flattening out the whole world too much green for london oh my god man you have to look at satellite images of london there london is very green my work was and I go honey I had a rough day at work no I would never say that because I sit around and play video games all day as my job so normally my response is yeah it's good and I get fresh cookies too yeah freshly baked cookies I get really mad at zoning well even then I mean I'm just you know probably just break a mouse break a keyboard or whatever and try to move past it it's got a, such a okay let's imagine you live in this apartment you live on the top floor you're looking out what can you see you can see the you can see the promise and the opportunity of the skyline of the city but also right in front of you you can clearly see a gigantic multi-story prison Not to mention a highway overpass <laughs> with a lot of traffic on it. Pittsburgh has that right on the water. Oh, man, okay. I'll take a look at Pittsburgh tonight. I love looking at um, cities. I was looking at Detroit the other day. Actually, I was looking at uh, Melbourne, Australia, and that's what gave me the idea to put the tram in De Burbs. I was inspired by their tram. So it's neat seeing other cities, especially like... Uh, I mean, I've never been to Australia, and I don't really know much about Australia, so it's interesting to see, like, some of their cities and stuff. It's cool. No, the Memorial Tree Roundabout is this one. Look. 
Mumbling Miss. It's the one by the hospital. Maybe that's where she had her, her baby. Smellrose Place now has 3,000 residents? A lot of them will be living in these housing um, developments. Dr. Eddie's, the, the Dr. Eddie's Housing Authority. Let's build another one of these. It's gonna be a big one, actually. The crane's big enough. When you were flying into Chicago Friday, you were watching the traffic and you thought of me? What, like, uh, did, the, did, did it give you a hankering to build a city, Erica, when you were looking at it? Because I find if I'm in a plane, I look out at a city, I'm like, oh, shit, I, I gotta play SimCity or Skylines or whatever. Every time. Jesus, look at this place, man. 225 employees, not even full. We lost, um, we lost, uh, Ron ne Neckbeard's comic shop or whatever it was called. Neckbeard Mike's. Now entering thick digital games. Prepare for sensory overload. You want it thick digital. Are you a man or a mouth? Digital. I love the guy. I love the guy who says, We're not going to be able to take much more of this, sir. <laughs> That's the best part. Let's go to Pernu Apparel. Why anybody would want to walk out of here? Maybe we could put like a. If this is Planet Zoo, I would totally put a bathroom here. Or like an ATM machine. new apparel doodly do oh look at this it's a level four out of five but the people who live here are poor one out of five one out of five do these ever upgrade is it possible for them to These are all people moving into the new building. They're just, wow. Lucky us. Look, it's made the exact same one again. This is all 
fresh meat for the low rents. Just, just it absolutely just canes the traffic for a minute. Look at all the people waiting for the bus now. Sixty-one people on this bus. Crazy. 150 getting off from downtown. Two hundred and four going downtown. This little um, transit hub thing is has been great, actually. It's just it's just nice that it's been pretty busy from the get go. The schools are all doing fine, except the one that we're keeping an eye on is this one, because this is uh, us needing to make another one soon. The other ones are... Uh, actually, this one's creeping up a bit. over here too you know most of these houses should have their own parking these run out of parking very quick the the big apartment blocks The school in Smellrose is over here. They got a bit of a hike to get to school. It's okay, look, I've made it pedestrian friendly all the way. It's got all the crosswalks that you would need. So the kids can make it there safely. The real challenge is trusting your child to safely... Um, use the uh, the underpass children be trusted um generally i would say probably not no oh 
flourishing metropolis. Wow. Milestone 17. Wowzers. All right, let's get some more housing built in here for people. Not that we actually need more population right now, but uh, unemployment still, it's 8.3%, it's pretty nice. There's 330 jobs open. So education might be starting to fall behind a little bit. Our high school availability is not looking too hot right now going to get to the point where oh yeah it's already servicing smell rose right i did that before district set up not one that actually needs much doing to it there's nobody living in it right now college is looking cramped no, college is still fine. University is fine as well. We got the expansion on. Somebody died. Somebody died in that fire. Just one person. your wallet oh man no I have no advice for you I can't believe you did that where was the last time you had it you have to cancel like all your bank cards and stuff now? Mm -hmm. All right, chat, I gotta go. Um, listen, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll continue on with uh, with this, we did a lot today. We did, we, we did a lot. We, uh, we built a whole new suburb pretty much and it, we've chopped and changed it a bunch of times and it's now looking good. Most importantly, we stopped the uh, land value from creeping out here. And um, we also um, got some low rents in, which I think people uh, need. We just need to get some more jobs for people and stuff. And we had a huge fire in this, in, in the burbs which killed over a thousand people and we messed around with this uh, little industrial area quite a bit and we added a whole bunch of more schools 
Um, we'll carry on tomorrow. It might be airport time pretty soon. I don't know where we're going to put the airport. We still got loads of space over here for stuff. Tons of space over here, right? So we can think about it. Okay, I'm saving. Um, thanks so much for watching, chat. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good one. Um, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow morning and we'll do some more then. Yes? Digital! Um, take it easy. Thanks so much for the uh, subs, resubs, donations. There's a whole bunch of donations and stuff today. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good one. LOL. Lots of love. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Bye now. Bye.